flashing lights, baby. Flashing lights everywhere. Niggas was saying shit about me. They didn't even fucking know me. This is my school. This is what I was doing with what nobody looked. Y'all don't know what goes on in practice or the locker room. Big, Welcome back to Gills Arena presented by Underdog Fantasy. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> it's a glorious Monday. No, yeah. Oh, how we feeling? I'm, huh? I am mine. Where the energy at? Wait, wait. Oh. Bear down, Arizona. <laughs> Number one in the country, baby. At what? Is that in basketball. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It won't last. Yes, sir. It won't last. Yes, sir. We like number 29. Um, y'all ain't never been number, have y'all ever been number one in the country? Good, 11 national championships. No, that, that's in the no, 60s, it counts, bro. That's, counts. <laughs> that's back in the 60s, man. Like, that's that counts. Was something we can remember. Yeah. Like, when last time y'all 95. were 95. 95? I think, now we, was we were number one at some point yeah, yeah. recently. Random. Yeah. yeah. Random, randomly, okay. Okay, How Whatever. long? How long were y'all number one? Hour, hour and a half. <laughs> Do y'all play that evening? <laughs> <laughs> Took that thing on the chin that evening. <laughs> wait, wait, we beat y'all in yard number one, right? No. No. We only lost to, like, Oregon. Yeah. When you had 32? Yeah, we wasn't number one then. They were number one. Pac-12 tournament then. They were number one. <laughs> no, but we got y'all in the Pac-12 tournament then. We were yeah, now. We spent the Pac-12, I don't, I don't know nothing about Pac-12. Yeah, Pac-10, whatever it was. Before, before. Yeah, yeah. The Pac-10 plus two. <laughs> now just the Pac-2. Yeah, the Pac-10. Right. So, well, we spent a lot of time at number one in my four years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck y'all talking about? There's a lot of weeks at number one. All four years. I came in, we was number one in the country. So. Mm. Huh? This is Gil's Arena presented by Underdog Fantasy. I should have gone. As it. always, we got the legend Gilbert Arenas here with us. What it do? Mm-hmm. We got Kenya Martin with us back on the couch. You know okay. About. Proud to be a Cowboys fan again? Always, dog. Really? I, I, I'm just not Unwavering? See, I'm just not a delusional Cowboys fan. Mm. Like that's like, I'm not one of them who every fucking preseason oh we win the Super Bowl this year. <laughs> no, I'm game by game. I got listen. We watch and they do well. Hey, if they don't, hey, they this okay. And I know I know we all doing better than Florida State football team right now. Moment Ooh. of silence. Thirteen to no ran the table. That's some boy. No college football playoff for you. Uh oh. Who could it be? Who cared? We looking around like, yeah, we, we know talk who about Okay, we <laughs> see it. We're going to talk about that, Florida. You hear me knocking? Let him in. Let him in. Bottom line. He, but yeah, he got a Steve music on. He ready. Oh, yeah. you like, y'all like the door? Oh, wait. Okay. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> we got a special guest making his debut in the arena. Okay. High school player of the year out of Simon Gratz in Philly. Okay. That Went on to be the fourth great. overall pick in the 95 draft out of North Carolina. His 16th oh, season, he was a four-time NBA All-Star, 2004 Matt NBA Cooper. champion Matt. with the Pistons. <laughs> Here we go. Damn that champion. Rasheed Wallace! <laughs> Welcome to Gills Arena. They, they mess the smoke up. Where's the smoke? No smoke. We don't need the smoke. I love my guy. <laughs> What's up, baby? Mm, how you doing? What's up, brother? Uh, what it do, gentlemen? Gentlemen, how is you? How is you? Uh, Dylan, baby. We do it better now. We're going to have a hey, good day. In the backpack. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> uh, hey. <laughs> Anytime thing. I was in the arena. <laughs> fun thing. Is that fun? <laughs> What's good, gent? What's good, gent? Hey, how you doing, brother? Baby? Man, bless, bless. Thank you for inviting me, man. Thank you for inviting me, man. Definitely looking forward to it. Yeah, so you've been in the underdog family a minute. We've been trying to make this this happen for a long time. Finally got it together. So it's a momentous day here at Gills Arena. Yes, sir. For we, sure. You're a brave man wearing that hat today, though. <laughs> Why? What? Huh? Huh? Who? What you mean? What happened? What you mean? Then. Yeah, we lost. Oh. Hey, guess what? On, Didn't that, Mike Tyson no. get punched in the face before? But Green Beto? Didn't Mike Tyson get punched in the face before? But Green Beto? By... 
a dude you never even heard of on some of the clips we see. Mike Tyson got punched in the face before, right? But, Green but what Bay happened at the, at the end of the fight, Mike Tyson was like this, right? Uh, but this ain't <laughs> Green Bay, though. Hey, it's okay. It happens. We lost games last year, too, and what happened? Not you see, you, not wait, wait. You see what it say on there? Though? What happened? What, it's on one of these. Oh, yeah, that's oh, right. I see. <laughs> <laughs> I don't lie. <laughs> That's all. That's all I got to say. You know. I, you know. I, you know. Y'all got whack Prescott and everything. You know. It's, <laughs> it's all good. Hey, but I will say I got to give y'all y'all credit though. He is leading. I think in passing and I want right, to say man. touchdown. I, it's I, a game by game situation. Yeah, I, I give y'all y'all credit though. I got I got to call a spade to spade when it happens. It's a game by game you know situation. Mean? You know what I'm saying? But I mean, you talking about me brave wearing a hat? <laughs> Oh yeah! Oh, come on! You know what we've been doing? You know our own waiver, bro. Every every year, y'all winning it. Oh, huh? not by listen. We just had this conversation. I'm not a delusional Cowboys fan. Okay, okay. I'm a real, I'm a, like I come on now. We ain't won shit since '95. So right? so okay. So you'll talk shit about your team? Absolutely. Okay. All right. All That's all time. I want to know. That's okay. all. Oh yes. Okay. Yes. To to Cowboys fans. So how long have you been a Cowboys fan? Since conception. Since I remember watching football. Okay. First team I watched. Okay. No, I'm not one of the guys who not don't not from Dallas. I'm from Dallas, and right, I so got I, you. yeah, I'm not. I, I, well, I, I'm not from I Kansas City. But see, you just picked the team. No one so. is. <laughs> I'm not no from one Kansas is. City. So you so. just yeah. So you just spun it, join him like nah, like, nah. It's, it's a long. It's, I, just sum it up quick. Everybody in the family is the Eagles fan. Grew up Sunday morning programs used to come on. My mom switched that. You know, about 12, 12, 15, the pregame shows. I didn't like it, so when my mom's uh, friends used to come over or my aunts and uncle, you know, they used to play cards or whatever in her room because she had the only TV in her room. So, all right, I heard them cheering for the Eagles and everything, like, oh, yeah, that's that. Just hey. back when they had Harold Carmichael, Wilbur Montgomery, mm -hmm. uh, Ron Jaworski. You know, I, I remember that, that main crew from right there, right? So I'm like, all right, well, I don't want to watch this. It's too cold to go outside to play with the homies, so... I'm a chair for yeah, you everybody else. Bad ass kids. Yeah, yeah. It's a bad, bad ass kid. kid. That's what they do. Yeah, so, absolutely. you know, I, was, I, I like individuals. I even like individuals on um, the Eagles team. Yeah, I'm with you. So, you know, but once Joe Montana got traded to Kansas yeah, City, yeah. I like Joe Montana in, in Frisco. I wasn't a Niners fan now. Yeah, fair. I liked That's him, reasonable. you know, Jerry Rice, Dwight Clark, that whole crew. Yeah. But I wasn't a Niners fan, so nobody I knew in Philly was a Chiefs fan Sweet. in 92. Mm -hmm. And that's when I became a KC fan and been rocking with him ever since. Chris Nicoye and all I, I, I took my loan. You said you was going to throw a parade in Philly if the Chiefs won the Super Bowl. Did that parade happen yet? No, no, it, did, it didn't happen. It didn't, ha it didn't happen. You I, could, I couldn't get enough support. And then I didn't want to look like a weirdo just doing it myself, just, you know, walking down the street like this or whatever. So, no, it didn't happen. It didn't happen. Well, see, we excited you having you on the show. We see Absolutely. the Black Forces already, so we, we expecting that interview. <laughs> we already know. But here's what we got cooking in the arena today. <laughs> so LeBron and Ime Adoka got into a heated exchange during the Rockets-Lakers game. Warriors have blown multiple 20-point leads in the last week. Mm -hmm. When should they hit the panic button? And we're talking all things life and hoop, from text to triumphs with she. But before we get into all that, as always, this show is brought to you by Underdog Fantasy. If you have not done so, download the app. Use promo code GILL. They will match your first deposit up to $100. Get that $100 deposit match so you can get your bread right. And as always, we do mostly fans at the end of every show. If you drop a good question with your Underdog Fantasy username and we use it on the show, Underdog will give you a $50 bonus. <laughs> If we use a video question that you send to mostyfansgill at gmail.com, we use that on the show, we will give you $100. And if you can't watch this show live with us, we have audio versions available on Spotify, Apple, wherever you get your podcast from. She, we got you here. You, you were a, a great shooter in your day. But we got the, we got the first annual, <laughs> we got the first annual <laughs> Guild Arena shootout presented by Underdog Fantasy coming soon. You need to pull up. Can, I, was, I was about to say, can I do it? Hundred hundred thousand dollars goes to the winner. Winner take all. What's the entry fee? Zero. Just gotta pull up. <laughs> Just pull up. I gotta get in the gym. So, <laughs> so you can sign up, all you fans out there on the Guilds Arena Discord page for a chance to enter. We also have our open tryout Saturday, December 16th, 9 a.m. at the district court in Chatsworth. Top 16 finishers uh -huh. will qualify for the shootout on January 20th, 2024. So our two Discord winners, 16 trial winners. We'll compete against our Gills Arena crew along with our two celebrity creators, Jenna Bandy and Jester. 
Winner take all, $100,000. Pull up to the tryout, 19851 Nordoff Place, Unit 104, Chatsworth, California. We will have security there with them things on them. <laughs> and, 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 and we got Ken. And we got Ken. What's that date? What's that date? So the shootout January 20, 2024, we'll fast track you into that. We'll fast track you and the underdog you know. family. Yeah, you, ain't you, got, you got it until January 20th. Show up, you got, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah January 20th. I'm in there. $100,000. Like, like six months behind. Right or left hand? <laughs> <laughs> right or left? Right. right. I, I ain't touched nothing in my left. All right. My dad said, if I can't make them all on my right, don't even think about the left. All right. Well, he, I'm just, well, you pick. I'm just, yeah, I'm just asking. Yeah. Oh, you can do, oh, it can go either way. Does. Absolutely. Right or left. So Y'all didn't know that? <laughs> Y'all didn't know that? I ain't had to guard it. Nah, he shoot that thing. <laughs> he said, I ain't had to guard it. <laughs> no, he wasn't that disrespectful, man. He wasn't no, no, that not, not in the regular season game. Yeah, not, no, I didn't no, play. No, no, no. I didn't do. shoot a left-handed jump shot in the regular yeah, season game. In the preseason, he did. In the, in the he did. preseason, you know, warming up. When, you, when you're playing in them small good. cities and stuff, like the fans like to see the oohs and ahs. Mm -hmm. Like, all right, you know, I'd I do it then, but... <laughs> No, not not money time, no sir. And then and you can't tell it looked the exact same. I know it, the practice looked the same. Oh no, it looked the same. <laughs> no, it, it does. The shadow box part looked the same. Like, okay. No, he makes multiple in a row each hand. Like that shit is impressive. Can you talk about him doing the game would be disrespectful? So speaking of disrespect, gonna we'll start the show with one of the disrespectful moments in the modern history of hoops. Damn. So we got this video. We sent it in the group chat. During the overtime elite game between the cold hearts and real wild energy. Cold Hearts big man in Missouri commit, Peyton Marshall, blocked the shot, proceeded to throw the ball at the dude after he fell out of bounds. <laughs> the man plays for the Cold Hearts. What do you expect? Hey, that was a cold heart right there. I love it, though. <laughs> Who in the chat called him dumb? Me. <laughs> Why? Nah, why? Fucking fast break. He gave him his ball back. No. They, they, we got the ball. Fast she was break. Like, we got the ball. <laughs> fast break. He caught the ball out of bounds. I know, <laughs> but I'm just saying it's a full five. I'm right there. Let's go. That's an easy point. That's my man on the floor. <laughs> of course, you've been self. That's what I said. I've been, that's my man on the floor. I'm see, coming up. See, you got to get to know him. Like, he's been self. He want the ball so he, he can got pull the up. ball back, though. He's trying to pull no. up on the break. No, we get the ball, but now he gonna play defense. Uh, he he can't play defense on the floor. He out of bounds. Give it to me, big fella. Let's go. That might be a fast so, break so three. Would it would it make it even worse yeah. if you pulled it up for a three in his face anyway after he got up? Nah, that's to add insult to my, injury. My percentage just went down. <laughs> <laughs> defense is there. <laughs> See, he trying to pull up. <laughs> He trying to have everybody run back, think it's going to be a fast break. Yeah, yeah. He to like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he trying to pull up. From, yeah, he trying to pull up from twenty seven. Like that's what he trying to do. Uh, that's that's all I rebound. thought about is like he done messed up the fast yeah. break while my man on the floor. Yeah, he no, called him done. Hey, real dummy. talk though, classic. Yes, no, that's, that's classic. classic. Yeah. Now, if I would have thought about some shit like that in high school, I would have done it. <laughs> that's classic. Coach would have yelled at me and everything, same yeah. as you think. I'm like, you know, you stopping the fast break, blah, Absolutely. blah, blah. But, hey, for history's sake, dog, that shit right there yeah. is hilarious. So, but you what are y'all doing if somebody did that to you in the game, if you was on the other side of it? Laugh. <laughs> it's nothing you can yeah, do, yeah, there's nothing you can do. Just... Yeah, it's, it's, it's part of the game. Because guess what? Everybody on here, we all got dunked on before. Mm -hmm. We all got a jump shot hit in our face before. We all got, you know, laid up with some crazy shot before. It happens. Mm -hmm. It's part of the game. The only thing is he threw that bitch off his face real hard. Like, <laughs> boom, <laughs> some shit like that. Now that's a different story. Now we got to talk. Now, now we got to address that. But other than that, that shit hey, is hilarious. That shit and, is hilarious. And it's, a, it's the big man. What you going to do? But I think what yeah, made it the most it. funniest, though, is hey, he dude. caught. The ball, dog. Are you trying to shoot this? <laughs> no, thank you, and here you go. Here. Hold that. Yeah. yeah. No, <laughs> thank you, and here you just go. Hold just, that. Just for the big man to do it, you know the guard had to be talking trash. Oh. He, oh, he had to be yapping the whole time yeah. for him to do that. Something. Oh, my Lord. So We up 11? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I can, down, I can, and we were down, that's a different story. We, we up 11? Yeah, yeah that was Down, good. I'm going to push yeah. that break. Absolutely. Yeah, right, yeah. Right. yeah absolutely. Yeah, that's, that. So <laughs> what's, what's the most disrespectful thing you did to an opposing player in the game? Anything on close to that level? Um, Outside of just regular ball stuff? Nah. No, I, I, I mean, I talk my junk, you know, like, uh, take that in your face, all that, but it was never, never nothing too disrespectful, though. Okay. Not, not too hard. 
Mine was uh, uh, Darren Williams, turn around. Shoot the three, turn around, game winner. To turn your back on him? Turn my back on him. Mm. Yeah. Nick Young tried to emulate that uh, with, with not as much success. <laughs> <laughs> he was close, though. He was close. He hit the iron, though. <laughs> yeah, he hit the iron. <laughs> he hit it rolled around. It rolled around. Okay, how about yourself? What's the most, in any level of basketball, I don't got to be in the league, but. Like, what's it like, far as something like that? I mean, just, just something that's disrespectful that had the whole gym feeling sorry for whoever you did it to. Oh, I didn't do some wild shit in the game, bro. Like, I, <laughs> high school, oh, y'all had no idea. <laughs> but, like, I didn't know. I was probably in the league, I think, I, I don't know who it was. I, I dunked on him and wrapped my legs around, <laughs> around him. <laughs> <laughs> Take that picture. Yeah. Let, me yep, yep, yep. Let me talk to Let me you. Talk to you. Let me talk to you. Pull him in. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> that or I pick, um, oh yeah, this is, this is a good one. I, uh, there was a picture I got in my house. Um, it was in a playoff game, and I think I had to set a screen on CP or something happened. And he was on the ground, like face down. Mm -hmm. And I picked him up by his pants and his shirt, his shorts and his shirt. I picked him up off the ground like Come this. Come little boy. Uh -huh. I like, yeah, I picked CP up off the ground like <laughs> Oh, that's a game of Melvin? No, oh, that's <laughs> embarrassing, bro. <laughs> for, for the little dude. Yeah, yeah, that's embarrassing. <laughs> man. Come on, get up, oh, little fella. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. So, he was hot, too. Let's go to the opposite hot. side. And What's... we was kicking their ass, too? <laughs> oh, yeah, that, yeah. What's the most disrespectful thing someone did to you in the game, any level of your career? Uh, disrespectful? So we just had this. Conversation. It's always usually when they call the ISO, <laughs> like the coach be like, yo, he can't play no defense. Oh. Run the same play. <laughs> <laughs> Run the same play. Like, come on. We got man. one. We got one. <laughs> He's sweet. <laughs> oh, man. Squeeze that limit. <laughs> hey, hey. Yeah, yeah that, oh, yes. that's the most, <laughs> that's hey. the most disrespectful <laughs> shit ever. When somebody <laughs> called for the ball on you, more than one. Once, yeah. One, yeah, that's my my most disrespectful moment when I played in the league. It was part of the game, mm -hmm. but it was my rookie season, first game of my NBA career. David Robinson, cause what's he doing to you? Got thirty, eighteen, and about like twenty six, twenty seven minutes. Mm. In Mexico City. <laughs> mm. Damn. Hey. Ay, ay, ay. Arriba! And, Ooh, and no I thought I was a pretty good defender. Got back to the hotel that night, you know, called my mom, boo hooed, <laughs> and called my high school coach and boo hooed. I was like, oh, man, bust my ass. Da -da -da. I, I never been more embarrassed in a, in a basketball game. Than that moment. Now I've done dumb shit in the games <laughs> and all of that. Right. I ain't embarrassed about it mm -hmm. because you know yeah. At, yeah. I'm older now. Mm -hmm. But that moment, ah, oh, dog. I'm thank, I, hey, I'm thankful that I had drive. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But that, could that game just off top could have hurt me, hurt my pride. People don't realize that, like, hurt my pride. <laughs> yeah. Games, games my and pride. moments in NBA ruin people's careers. They can't bounce out of it mentally. Fact, fact. Ain't nothing you could do. Yeah, he'd be like, especially oh. wasn't nothing I could do then because, you know, in '95 before uh, Tim Duncan, mm -hmm. um, BT. So he was the man. Mm -hmm. You know, he had the Nike sneakers, <laughs> yeah. pumping all that. He was yeah. the man. And uh, I was watching him when I was in college at Carolina. Like, oh, David Robinson. I'm like. Like, yo, he nice, you know, athletic. He got the little jade lefty. <laughs> Never thought in my wildest dreams that would be my first NBA <laughs> yeah, game yeah, yeah. Well, in Mexico City. Whoa. <laughs> hey, what? <laughs> Get up. George. Yeah. George Muir sound like Jawan. Like, don't y'all want, you know, one of y'all got. Jimmy Lino's like, after, after the first, they started the game. Mm -hmm. Big George started the game. But, of course, you know. You're saving them for the season, so yeah. we're gonna play first preseason game. We're gonna play all the young fellas. Hey, don't y'all want one of y'all want to come in? Yeah. <laughs> Bust my ass, dog. At least it was preseason, though. Yeah. yeah, on the bright side. Yeah, fact. Well, let's keep this thing moving. Uh, things got heated during the Lakers Rockets game on Saturday night as LeBron and Rockets head coach Ime Adoka exchanged some words. So we see him getting into it. And from what I heard, Ime is really about that life. 
Like, there's some story about him fighting a bunch of Algerian dudes when he was playing with the Nigerian national team. I don't know if it's true or not, but apparently he was busting ass. But uh, many were curious what both men said to each other uh, to lead to the text. Ime was, I think, his second tech. He got ejected. Well, thanks to professional lip reader, Legend Z, we now know some of what was said. <laughs> so uh, after the game, both LeBron and Kama Soft have boy. Have professional lit readers? Yeah, they, yeah, Legends, he goes hard. Okay. Shout out. That's close enough. It looked like it. But uh, after the game, both LeBron and Doka were asked about the exchange. Speaking of text, what were you and uh, Emmy talking about? Uh, Thanksgiving. <laughs> How much we enjoyed Thanksgiving? It was very friendly. Yeah, it was. They didn't like what they heard, the refs. <laughs> Was the conversation with the officials of JT or was it LeBron and you? Me and the player, yes. <laughs> to kind of get punked by a team that's not known for physicality or punking people is not a good sign. So basically called the Lakers bitches during the game, after the game. Uh, also referred to LeBron as the player, like he ain't got no name. <laughs> like we play NBA Live. Uh, <laughs> NBA Live back in the day. Player 99. <laughs> so, what are y'all thoughts on that LeBron email exchange? All I seen was white people get involved like normal. For no damn reason. Just interfering with grown folks' business. Just sitting there. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah. Yeah. Get on that. Like, come on, man. What the fuck is your problem? Right? What, what is your problem? This has nothing to do with you. They're not talking to you. They're talking to themselves like grown-ups. And for some reason, you have to interfere with what's going on all the time. Mm -hmm. And why, did, why was soft-ass boy like with Tip the Iceberg? That's not even like disrespectful. Not that bad, I think. She, what did you think about it? Man, I fucked with e -May. That's my guy. I knew e -May back when he was in uh, high school, college, when I was in Portland. Mm -hmm. You know, e -May went to Portland State. Um, and he played a lot of pickup games with us throughout the summertime. Um, he can ball. He got a basketball. The boy got a basketball mind, real talk on mm -hmm. everything. Um, but on top of that, he could ball. Mm -hmm. So he just never had the break. Um, he got the break finally when he came to the league. Uh, his sister could ball too. Mm -hmm. But he got the break finally when he came to the league. Uh, he played a few years with the Spurs, and I think that's where he made his impact as far as pop with the mentality part of it and wanting to become a coach. But no, he may, he may, look, hey, yeah. I fucks with he may. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he probably would. That was a great challenge right there. Yeah. That would have been a hell of a fight right there. I, I, I didn't see that. I see no, that. He ain't no punk. Uh -huh. You know, of course, you know, we all... The position he's in, we got to be mild mannered. Mm -hmm. You know, when you go in for the job interviews and this and that, you can't, you have to let them show progress. You know what I'm saying? You got to show progress. You can't be the same player, type of player you was. But that was the type of player he was. Like, he took that challenge. Mm -hmm. He wasn't going to sit up there and bust his ass for 20, 25, whatever. No, every play, it's going to be hard for you. Mm -hmm. I, I saw him sort of as that, like, of his ever, that Raja Bell. You know what I'm saying? We yeah. all know how Raja was. Raja hung his hat on defense. Mm -hmm. So that's how Ime was. That would I pay to see that fight though. <laughs> Who's winning? I pay to see that fight. <laughs> <laughs> I pay to see that fight. Can you what you think about the, that whole situation? Interesting. Um so yeah, so I, so I look at the whole the whole when it started. And I'm gonna grab Dylan Brooks first and foremost, dude. Don't you fucking put your hands on me, bro. What's wrong with you, dog? First and mm -hmm. foremost, mm -hmm. listen. Let's let's start. Let's start with him. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get the MA, but we're gonna start with you. Get your motherfucking hands off me, dog. What's wrong mm -hmm. with you? Mm -hmm. First, 
for coach to have those things to say, no, I think Bron should have took it a little further in that moment. Like, we going to, you know, you won't, no. So putting that, who you, who you talking about? Mm -hmm. like, you know how we feel like you, <laughs> you calling people bitches out here. Like, let's see who mm -hmm. you talking about, dog. Mm -hmm. Like, who? who? Mm -hmm. Like, damn, the ref standing there like, uh, this ain't got, like you said, it ain't got nothing to do with you. Mind your business, mm -hmm. bro. <laughs> who you talking to? <laughs> So, Brian handled it, but I think, yeah, he's, yeah, you know, we weren't talking about fucking Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. Hey, what'd you make for Thanksgiving? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Ass whooping pie, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I, I whipped up a few. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Let's, no, man, it's, no, I, I've had situations, coaches, a few running their mouth. No, I will, no, you're not exempt. You know, for the no, no, you're not. No you're not. You you say something like you're not exempt because mm -hmm. you you part of them. You ain't mm -hmm. with us. You part of them. So Lakers were up 15 at that point. Seem to have the game. Oh yeah, in hand. we going we yeah. go address. Go ahead, that. take that one. Oh, we go address that. Like, like there's a rep. The rep should get fined for this. In my book, right? No, he should have let it go though. No, no, that's what I'm saying. Like you are getting fined, you are kicking someone out of the game. Right, let it you're go. Giving someone let it, that's like um, to let them address it and then tell them to go. I, like know your person. I, I said y'all peace. Now let's go. Yeah. Know your, but know your personnel. You know LeBron ain't gonna. LeBron ain't punching nobody. Coach not ain't, hit, Why coach not? ain't hitting nobody. That's his legacy. But that's like you a, see that's who last infinity. What I'm saying is, you see who the two is. Mm -hmm. Right, it's LeBron James and the coach. Right, like if it's a difference if me walking. Young up yeah. Up, if I'm walking up on MA, young coach, there's a possibility but, some going. Yeah, but I'm like I'm sitting here like ah y'all, right, then can we get the, the it's a it's a free throw. This ain't in the middle of the game. It's it's a dead ball situation. What is the point of this you, this technical? But you get that though. I'm shit, you know. Your man, your man fucking hated me. Oh, he hated me in Jersey and when he was in Chicago. Fucking Frank. Uh, Frank Vogel. Frank, uh, oh, Frank Vogel. <laughs> Frank. No, no, no. Not oh, Frank. the little one. L. L. Frank. Lawrence Frank. Lawrence Frank. Lawrence motherfucking Frank, dog. <laughs> the, little, he, the little one. Like, well, as, as far as basketball wise, you know, mm -hmm. just on the court, I don't know about off the court. I'm just yeah, speaking yeah, on the court. Mm -hmm. Oh, that motherfucker hated me, dog. <laughs> Him, um, Scott Skiles. Yeah. Scott Skiles didn't like my ass neither when he was in Chicago. So the situation, so we playing Memphis, Lionel Hollins the coach, right? Mm -hmm. I beat somebody's shit up. They coming, I put that shit like six, seven rows deep. <laughs> <laughs> that shit out of here, right? You know, I'm an asshole. <clears throat> I'm an asshole. I go ask for the ball back. <laughs> hey, let me, hey, 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 we gonna need that for a few more hours. Man, let me get that. The fan was throwing the ball back to me, right? He snatched the ball out there. Oh, yo, yo, goddamn, let me get the ball. You ain't gonna be bitching us out here today. <laughs> like, right, right. <laughs> so that's just way I can't do nothing but laugh because it's like, <laughs> like, oh, uh, shit, so you see what is going on out yeah, here. Yeah, you got to at so, yeah, you know what I'm like, <laughs> like, I laughed like a motherfucker. So me and him laughed about this shit later and to this day. He's like, man, you remember when you motherfucking trying to punk us out there? I said, hey, man, you stepped in for your guys. What you supposed to do? <laughs> so, shit, you said you had issues with uh, Scott Skiles, Lawrence Frank. Do you remember any times where y'all got into it during games or what was the situation? Oh, yeah, when, when uh, Scott Skiles was coach and... Um, in Chicago, so this when I was with Detroit. So this when they had the uh, the foreigner young boy uh, was Nocioni. Uh, Nocioni. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, you know, boom, <laughs> LB called my number. I mean, excuse me, uh, Flip called my number. We out there, uh, all right, uh, uh, doing it, and right there in front. Hey, you want to put him on me? <laughs> Bucket. Came down like two times in a row. And then I'm like, yo, if you don't get this motherfucker off of me, dog, <laughs> like for real. Oh, he turned red and everything. He's like, oh. And then so at halftime, I mean, excuse me, at the end of the game, uh, you know, from one of the other players who I was cool with on that team, he told me, he was like, Scott Skiles was like, and yeah, if one of you motherfuckers ever go out there, and you guys gotta punch motherfuckers like Rashid Wallace <laughs> in his fucking mouth to shut him up. That's how we gotta win games. And did it. I was like, damn, he took that like kind of personal, but it was your fault for yeah. putting this little ass motherfucker on me. <laughs> yeah. it ain't my fault. You put him on me. So it seems like bitch is one of LeBron's trigger words. I mean, we've seen him get yeah. to Draymond and other players about it. Uh, what was the trigger word? When you were hooping, like what was somebody that was off limits? If somebody called you, it it'd be time to squirrel. Yeah, that was, that was about the same. Okay. Somebody tried to oh. call me a bitch. I'm going at you. Okay. 
On, on or off the court with that one. Yeah, I ain't, uh, ain't Serious? No bitching, ain't no bitch in me. Man, mine was sub. <laughs> <laughs> you hear Coach say sub, like, oh, see, man, God damn. Sub with a horn. <laughs> sub. <laughs> <laughs> that, hey, that tap. I got you. Like, oh, shit. Get the type of <laughs> nigga, see him come and do this. Yeah, hey, that's true. <laughs> No, get somebody yeah, else. Yeah, yeah, nah, come on. He turned his head oh, like man. he like tying his shoe or some shit. I like. ain't get the feel. I ain't get the feel of the game yet, man. You ain't about the it's third I quarter. That's your personal. Uh, I ain't got the feel of the game, man. It's the hey, third quarter. No, I took the egg. <laughs> All that shit. <laughs> Can you have any words that were off limits? People talking to you. Oh yeah, no, that bitch word. Yeah, like I said, put a name on it. Mm -hmm. Like don't if you who you talking to just don't who you like no nah, don't I'm 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 don't be indirectly yeah we we just had this conversation on Thursday bro about mm -hmm. the disrespect shit didn't we yeah. <laughs> huh? didn't we <laughs> didn't we just had this conversation on Thursday about me <laughs> not taking no disrespect from fans it's no fucking mm -hmm. body from fans nah I'm with it. <laughs> Between that 90, nobody. that 9450, bruh, <laughs> hey, on Joe. the street, 9450, nowhere, but especially between that 9450. Nigga, I'm with you. Hey, Josiah's over here like this. I'm with you on that. I'm saying? <laughs> Dude, no, I'm just, no, I'm just not with you. Literally, y'all niggas know I'm fully so trained in the so martial arts. So this is, see, me being who I am, right, if I know I'm trying to, if I want you to go there, I'm going to say something to put you in a position to make you want to fight me, mm. right? Off top. Pardon my French. I'm going to tell you, man, suck my dick, nigga. Ooh, like, off bitch top. Ass, nigga. New Yorkers don't off like that. Off top, right? That's not the word. Off top, like that. right? Well, hmm. And if somebody said to me, we, we fighting. <laughs> so you can I know say what it is. Is. No, no, I want you to fight. No, 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 no. If I say it to you, I want to fight. But you want me to say it back to you in that? Either way, either okay. way. Like, you if you say it first, I'm going to punch you. in your face. Either way it go. So if, you start, if I say it to you and you swing at me, it's deserving. You know what I'm saying? Just, you better, you better land. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> But you call me a bitch on the floor, you do some, no, nah, a certain shit. Now, like and that. now I, can, I can deal with trash talking. Trash yeah. talking. What did I say? What did oh, I say? Oh, you can't stop this. What did I say? Uh, watch me lay you left what? handed, right handed. Yeah, you That's suck. different. All that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, take this J in your face. Uh -huh. That's different. But yeah, when I'm up, when, yeah. hey. What's yeah, wrong with y'all? No there was other more embarrassing no bitch, things, like, like getting what? dunked on, no. and then nah, the coach called cool. timeout. That's cool. No. I, I can happen. deal with now somebody. Gotta dunk. Replay it the they whole time happen. for two minutes. They but like happen. I said a second ago, we all got dunked on before. Yeah. I can deal with that motherfucker dunking on me. Boom! Ah! Because guess what? I didn't dunk on way more people. Exactly. Uh, Trust me. I didn't dunk. I oh, didn't, I get that. Getting dunked on it. No, getting dunked on, and then your coach called a timeout. That's, that's boo. I can deal like, with all come that. Come on, bro. It happens. It's <laughs> part of the game. Yeah, that nah, nah, nah. Not but, the timeout one. But you're not gonna call me no bitch, though. Yeah. Or no bitch ass nigga or whatever, though. None of that. Mm, I'm nah. not about none of that. None so, of that. No, nah, nah, because I know you're trying to get nah. to me. That's because no, I know you're trying to get to me. But, that, that, but, but yeah, but that's also kind of sorta taking it also off the court with it. Like, but, but nah, I know nah, you're nah. trying to get to me. Like when when. When I got crossed over and failed, no, and then you get subbed, other things, hey, you get subbed out right after. Yo, like, I no, can say a few other things, things. We got to 82 get games. To I'll see you, especially if you're yeah. in my conference, I'll see you three more times. I can, yeah. I can afford this game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> see, I can say a few more things like to, to try to get to you about your game other than me calling you a bitch ass. Yeah, see, I, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was, see, there were like, under players. <laughs> I can say a whole Which lot Which will be the truth. Yeah, look, I can say a whole lot of shit before bitch ass nigga. <laughs> like, I didn't work on play. Like hey, the players didn't get to me. Hey, I got hey, a thesaurus. Hey, I got a thesaurus of shit that's dictionary almanac oh. and shit that I can say before I get the bitch ass nigga. See, I grew up in the valley, so <laughs> <laughs> I grew up in the valley, bro. So I didn't heard it all. So yeah. there was nothing on. There was nothing the player could say. It was just yeah. coaches' mannerisms. So therefore, if somebody could get to that point, then yeah, we yeah. I mean, because where I'm from, we do it, and we I just seen dudes do it. You bitch, they fight and break it up, and then we go back to hooping. Yeah, see, yeah, yeah. <laughs> facts, facts. yeah y'all was on but, words. But how about man. like personal type things? Like, say you're dating, or, or you're married to a woman, and another player, you know, refers to her as a type of cereal or something like that. Like, huh? would you? Hmm? <laughs> you personal come, things? Come on, no, bro, listen, you can't get bro. personal with you, dude. We, Is it worse? No, Josiah. Yeah, I just asked a question. I'm merely here. I'm a conduit. Hey, dude. Just scoot over. He said, oh, <laughs> I said I'm a conduit. I'm a conduit. Scoot over. I'm just a conduit. I'm just, I'm just, hey, I'm just, I'm just relaying the message. Listen, so there's, listen, my mom off limits, my kids off limits, my wife off limits. Yeah, you family say, is off family limits. Off, but like, you you can talk so, about me. Oh, like, but you say certain things, dude. Right. Like, I don't, like, 
it was a playoff game. We kicking the Mavericks' ass. I'm doing what I, Dirk doing his thing, but I'm out there in his shit. Mark Cuban, see my mom, had some disrespect for the sake, called me Ooh. a thug or something to my mom, and my mom was upset. After the game, she visibly upset. Don't nobody want to tell me why in the moment while I'm still oh, at the oh, arena. Oh, oh, oh. Mm -hmm. Right? They wait till we lead her in and tell me what happened. So, you know me, next game in Dallas, I'm on 12. Right? Mm -hmm. We end up losing that game, but we end up beating them 4-1, but we, we lose that game. So, you know, I'm all bets off now. Mm. If you know the way Mark Cuban always have walked, he always walked, the game is over, it's diagonal across the court, mm -hmm. right? Every time it's diagonal. No other time. Mm -hmm. He walked baseline, <laughs> sideline, because I'm beelining right towards him. <laughs> and there's a clip out there of me where I'm, you bitch, I'm, 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 I'm going, and the police and secure everybody lining up. Because I'm trying to get to a billionaire. Fact. Wait, so a billion anybody can be touched. Not an M. Did, not an M. He a bill at the time, and I'm trying. So this is just I'm just gonna throw it out there. Yeah. So at this point in time, that, was he wrong? Yes. For saying something to my mother? No, I'm just saying what he said it, to your mother. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. nigga. No, 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 I'm saying. Gil, he called him a thug. It does he did some thug shit after. But I ain't never been. Listen, what makes a thug? So for a billionaire. But what makes a thug? No, for the billionaire. I ain't never been arrested. I ain't never Back. sold drugs. I graduated Back. from high school. I graduated Back. from college, and I'm Back. a professional in my field. No, isn't Back. what makes me a fucking no, thug? Isn't Doug a new word? What, what do they say? No, no, oh, they changed the word. right? Truly, the humble, the under God. No. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> no, he That's gonna you. <laughs> he gonna get the needle put in that boy arm. Listen, hey, his lawyer gonna get the needle put in his arm, but that's it. I can tell you that shit right now. He needs to go, he needs to go find him another lawyer. Yeah, the fact that you remember. Absolutely, because that shit, <laughs> when I read it. Under God. I was yeah. gonna get him with it. His lawyer gonna get the needle put in his arm, fuck up there with that bullshit, you'll open the statement. Uh, <laughs> but, but for you to say anything to my mother other than fucking hi. Mm -hmm. Or good things. Or good. Or whatever yeah, you ain't got to say, no good. Uh, anything other than high mm. to my mother in that, during a play, playoff game. During a playoff series. Huh? Mm. I'm on edge during the regular season as is. <laughs> playoff series, I'm off, off the edge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got one foot hanging <laughs> off the fucking edge in the playoff series. <laughs> Dirk drove to the bathroom. I was doing, doing 25,000. <laughs> yes. Yeah, they had to protect him. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? I know the feeling. Yes, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, it's that shit. But for you to say anything to my mother, mm -hmm. off limits, dog. My kid, listen, we was at uh -huh. the usher at the game, Clipper game, one day tried to move my kid. If you fucking touch my child again, I'm going to jail in this bitch. They but, but see, Dude, I'm, they don't realize you're a man before a professional yeah, yeah, athlete. Yeah, dude. Like, yo, I'm a grown ass man with kids paying my bills. All, I'm. No, all that other shit, you talking with my kids, my wife, like you said, my mom, all that. Mm -mm. No, that shit don't fly in this, no, no fly zone over here. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Fuck out of here with that shit, dog. F-O-H all day. <laughs> Man, everything, for real, because, mm -hmm. yo, again, I can deal with you talking about me. You can say whatever you want about me. It, don't, it won't hurt my feelings. You can call me a punk other than a bitch. That's, mm -hmm. that's you know. <laughs> You call me whatever you want. You can say my game is trash. You know I can't shoot. This that's all fine, but no, it is certain trigger words as as you mentioned a minute ago. It's yeah. certain trigger words, yo. Like everybody got them as people. Mm -hmm. It ain't even it ain't even us being athletes. It's well, people. maybe not Gilbert, but most people. No, Gilbert got <laughs> a trigger word. It's, it, it gonna have to do with something that has to do with my work ethic or something. Yeah, when people call you broke, you seem to take that person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't really? like that. I'm just saying. But that, but, I want but, but that, I want you to But again, but that's coming from people who don't know the field. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? You dig? So you, I need, you know, you ain't taking it personal. But yeah, we heard that shit before. But hey, man, I, fuck that. No, I did get mad when someone said, "Yeah, I picked Ginobili before you." 
Well, hold on, bitch. <laughs> no, you, no, you're not. No, you're not. <laughs> Don't even put me in a category with a sixth man. <laughs> like, stop. <laughs> you're not going to do that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm all for who the best second round, but you're not going to put Ginobili in front of me. I don't give a fuck if he got 12 rings. <laughs> he didn't get it by himself. He wasn't the factor point. He was the third, fourth, fifth option at best. Yeah. I'm sorry. We're not going to do this right here, all right? You want to put Joker in front? No, cool. Shit. You say Dennis Rodman, I'm still like, oh, uh, uh-uh, we're not going to do that. Are you talking to somebody in particular, Gil, perhaps an uncle Just period. Figure? I'm just saying okay. just period. Like, like just, <laughs> just period. <laughs> so just take it back to the Vernon Maxwell shit, right? Uh-huh. Him Mad Max. The stands. He didn't just, buy ch- just go in the ch- stands because, like today, I'm going to pick, you know, today, at the game, I'm, I'm going to go in the stands today. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, no, you fucking with my family up here. Word. Like, <laughs> right, whatever. Anytime somebody has did something other than, you know, but going in the stands, it has something to do with somebody's family member, dog. Word. Like, ain't nobody going for that. You got to, people, like you said, you got to know your artists. You got to know who you're dealing with, man. Fact. You got to know, you don't understand people's background, where they come from, what they, what, who's, people have no idea. When it comes to sport, mm-hmm. like you, was, they think because we athletes, we getting paid this, we supposed to all of a sudden turn turn this off. Like, no, this what this survival <laughs> mode. Mm-hmm. This is what oh, got me this, out this of where I'm, I'm here, from. Yeah. yeah, like people, like I've grown. Trust, me, I've grown a lot, bro. In my adult, like since I've got, I've grown up a lot. Ooh, hey, with that wisdom and through yeah. that through. Wisdom. When this, what I'm saying, me, me self medicating <laughs> and therapy. Self therapy? <laughs> but, hey, whatever it takes. Hey, between whatever them two and my wife, man, like, hey, like I've grown a lot, but there's still certain things that I'm not going to tolerate. Mm-hmm. And we, we appreciate that growth, especially me being <laughs> in close proximity to you. <laughs> You're never in harm's way. Oh, no. never. Never. No, you got to put on a uniform. But I feel like... You're never in harm's way. <laughs> but no, but it's the opposite no, side. It's no, the opposite no, side, no, Kmart. I feel like I can go out with you now. No, I can start you, talking a bunch yeah, of shit and be yeah, like, no, yeah, I got Kmart with me. No, <laughs> what y'all niggas going to do? Yeah, yeah, yeah you're going to force me to come out of... Like, but yeah. no, but That's no, what I be doing in the street. Yeah. I got Kmart with me. Got the nigga on You see the arena. He in the group chat. <laughs> now, if we out, I ain't definitely ain't going to let no, that happen to you. But now, we ain't going to never. No, nah, like, I'm just. I can't wait to go back to Tacoma. See, see here, here's, here's the one thing. Here's Look who we're here with now. I can tell y'all about big men. Uh-huh. We like offensive linemen. We ain't going to let nothing happen to our guards. No matter on or off the court, we ain't going to let nothing happen to our guards. That's how we are. Mm-hmm. Well, the, the underdog family will be heavy in Tacoma. Tacoma. <laughs> Next summer. Rematch. And I just rebat. <laughs> Let's move to the lighter side of things. So LeBron made headlines earlier last week when he said that he will miss a Lakers game for Bronny's USC debut. You know, I'm looking forward to his first game whenever, whenever he's cleared and whenever he's ready to have his first game. Um, I already told my teammates, um, that if they play on the same day we play, and then I'm gonna have to catch them next game. So huh? yeah, I told you, I'm, I told you I'm gonna play. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that thing, huh? Yeah. 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 First, you know, it's college game. Whenever he's clear and ready to go. But Gil Sarge, do you have any issue with LeBron missing a Lakers game for Bronny's <laughs> USC debut? Listen, LeBron, you know damn well he ain't missed no goddamn game, brother. Right? That's. You see, he's lying because no one heard that before. Uh, most likely, <laughs> I told y'all to play. Most likely, uh, because it is his son, he is going to know what game he's going to come back for, and he's going to make sure it's not on game day. Come on. <laughs> Let's just be honest. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be right down the street. Uh, but let's just be but honest. Just take an know. Uber to back to stable. LeBron ain't take. The, the I'm just. I got to say, fuck that. He ain't missing no damn game. <laughs> he ain't missing no. No, the schedule means out already. Uh-huh. Pick and choose. If we got a game, we gonna like Brian. You gonna sit out there? We gonna play we, three days? All right, cool. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> you gonna you, you gonna play that game? Oh, no disrespect to him and Young Brownie, but yeah, because. That's that's the only thing to do as that father. Like Grant, <coughs> I know he might be thinking like, shit, if I miss this game, that fine, mm-hmm. team fine or league fine, whatever the case may be. But no, you gotta gotta get a white king because hey, he's gonna have many more games at USC. Mm-hmm. 
One thing I tell you, that motherfucker fall on ESPN or TNT, one of them ABC or something. Trust me. Yeah. He gonna be there. Yeah. Bron James <laughs> gonna be in the building. Yeah. So a lot of people thought that Edoka told Bron that the Rockets gonna be drafting Bronny, and that's what started the whole situation. Ah, <laughs> shit. <laughs> I'm gonna draft your son. No, you ain't bitch. <laughs> that was stupid as hell. Keep him off this shit. <laughs> <laughs> No, that'd have been funny. Hey, dog, no, on everything, if that was some real shit, that, oh, that shouldn't be so That'd have been some funny that shit, that shit should be killing up. Don't, don't use that draft word loosely. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about another unfortunate topic, these Golden State Warriors. Uh, after blowing a 24-point lead to the Kings last Tuesday in the end season tournament, Warriors appear to be heading in the right direction. They beat the Clippers uh, Thursday at home. Then they headed to L.A. for the rematch against the Clippers on Saturday. They were up 22 points in the third quarter, but then this happened on the final play of the game. So Steph got the ball. Oh, he just got Kawhi on him. Oh, ready to mix him. Hit Draymond in the corner. Brick. Yeah. Draymond did hit. Wait, we want that again? Play it again. Yeah. Break it down. And I want to see that. No, no, he's going to hit again. See, this is, I want to uh, see the guilt break. For, uh, so you want me to go? You can go. First and foremost. I, I didn't see the end of the game. I, well, I had some, but. I was out and about. <laughs> Did they call a timeout? No. Hmm? It was coming, out, coming after a timeout. Yeah, it was coming after a timeout, right? Why? Wait, wait, go back. Just pause it. No, I'm sorry. Y'all know, know I'm a Draymond guy. Uh-huh. Why yeah, hit the game? Pause it right there. Yeah. Listen. All right, pause it right there. Okay. Why? Wh no, fuck. What? <laughs> Go back to the timeout. You, hit you, got, you got the timeout on here? No, no, no I'm just fucking fuck, fuck with you. No, no, was it a Let's go back to the timeout. If what there is a timeout? No, they didn't have none. This can't be a timeout because they didn't have none. No, they used their last timeout. Okay, well, well, never mind then. Yeah, I was going to say, good, well, never mind. Because the way the matchup is. Never mind. Is, yeah, okay. Never mind. Okay, I got it. Go, Gil. The way the matchup is, <laughs> never mind. I, I didn't, it didn't look like a timeout because okay. Kawhi is guarding them. So this must have been just. No, it was a full timeout. So Paul George dotted Clay's eye. Uh, to put the like uh, Clippers up one, and Warriors call, timeout. They call a timeout, right? And they, so they got that, that was the so play that they So why is I, I'm, a, I'm a Draymond guy? Yes, I am. I feel you. Me why too. is he in the game right now? On no offense, you need mm -hmm. a, you need you need, a, you need a possession. He, yes, he was four for seven. I don't seven care. Eight, but oh yeah, little he, he had little he had little heat on him. So he hit four threes in the game. I, I understand. I don't care, but overall, I understand that. Good but, back pass. But as a basketball player, Gilbert, yeah. <laughs> Clutch. Oh, no, shit. No. Government name. Oh, Clutch time. Time. I'm just asking. Yeah. Would you have taken him out of the game? Yes. Okay. Even at that point, being 4-4-7? Four, four, yes. Okay. Thank but you. Did Steph Curry, so LeBron always gets heat for making the right basketball play. Did Steph Curry make the right basketball play? Well, see, play? This, is, this is why. No. I, no. No. <laughs> no. That's one. No. The, the, problem I ha the problem I have is it pause it right now. W what is Clay doing? Right? This, this is what irritates me about about basketball now, right? Clay, you can you can shoot that far, but not right now. Like you, you were so far out of this play, shooting from the hash mark. If I did pass you the ball, you have to pump fake. No, you, yeah, you got to pump. You're gonna pump fake, try to get a little closer. Yeah, that, that's the end of the game, game. Yeah. right? So that's one problem. Two, Draymond should have been back doing Russ. True. If he is in the game. If he's in, in, in the game, he should be soon as... Um, hey, that's the right play, too. Soon nope. as Curry's driving, we already know Russell is going to be helping on the drive. So yeah. if if, Especially if Draymond, yeah. if he, Draymond went and he threw that lob, most likely he's not jumping with that power because he, he's only 6'5". It's not like there's a big back there. It's just so many things that you'd be like, come on, y'all. Hey. As they said in Hollywood Shuffle, I disagree, homeboy. I disagree. I disagree. Right, right now, uh -huh. you got Dre in the corner. Yeah, granted, okay, he is in the game. You can't do nothing about that at True. this moment. He yeah. is in the game. Absolutely. So you got the two young fellas down there. Who is that? Uh, Moses. Who else? I don't Moody know. Uh, Pazinski or something? Pazinski. Okay. Yeah. So they down in the corner. So you already know the rock ain't going to them. Yep. So now PG is switched on to Clay, right? Mm -hmm. So at this point, if I'm Steph looking at this play, I got to get a foul. 
Mm-hmm. We only down one. I'm with we you. don't need a fucking three. Yeah. True. That like that's another problem with the game today. Everybody yeah. thinking three is gonna settle things. We don't need a fucking three, yo. Plus, look, look who's in the bonus. Yep. Yeah. Any any of the slightest thing, that's all star versus all star. And then nine times out of ten, if I make a good move, I'm gonna get that call. Oh, now man. I'm gonna go to the line, bang bang, nine, and nine, it's yeah. gonna leave. What? Uh, let's say it might even leave seconds, three and a half seconds, seconds or three seconds, yeah. and for for um, the Clippers to do something. But no, I, I put that on Steph. That's not Dre fault. That's not Draymond's yeah, fault. I put that on uh, Steph. So yeah. to add on to to what we're talking about, right? You know they're not helping off the strong corner, right? No, at all. Yeah, so at all. put Draymond in this corner. Right? And, and then yeah. with the two put, young fellas put, at. Put, put, mm-hmm. put Draymond in this corner, because they're not helping out. Then you got somebody on the other side that can actually... Because if, if that's Moses, Moses is a better three-point shooter uh, than Dre. But, and, and one thing, too, Steph ain't going to get fouled. He's a jump shooter that wants to shoot the jumper. Yeah, yeah, but you got, I mean, but dog, get but to you got to have game, something though, to like, get to the bucket, though, Gil, as a I guard. Know. You, you know, I, one is one for Anybody, four anybody yeah. else, I agree with you. I, no, no, no. I feel you well, with the 14. Him, one, Clay will, already, Clay will be where, uh, <laughs> if this was me. In the corner Draymond. with Dre. <laughs> yeah, Clay will be where motherfucking uh, Draymond is, Dr- so you no, flip them. Westbrook is. So you'll flip them. Yeah, no, he's down too. Okay. Just how this side, the right side look, the left side's gonna look the same way. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know, that's So right. you want that total one you know, flat. Dre you know me, I'm a total one for flat. So you mm-hmm. put Draymond in the dunker. Yep. And Clay in the corner. Yep. One for flat. And if anybody helps, you got an easy dump, or I got this, I got more I'm movement. And then here you're only going left. And what Unless is, you were skilled I, enough to spin back right towards the middle and get that I, I, with his new athleticism. Angle. Yeah, yeah. But I, I see that with his ankle. And he got the, for him, it's the overload to the right. Yeah. And you know what? And this is just add to everything. I would have rather had Kevon Looney in the game in the dunker on this side because offense real. Like, it's just, yeah. other than Draymond, I would have put him in the dunker on the strong side to go to one for a flat because he, you know, he is a t- bigger player, player, taller player. That means right? that drew this shit up. Yeah. <laughs> Who drew it up? <laughs> <laughs> Not Bob Myers. No, no, no. So we asked the chat, uh, uh-huh. did, did Steph make the right play? I'm um, waiting for the poll results. Drum roll. They said no. No, I don't. I don't in my opinion, I don't think he no, did, man. He should have took that himself. That's, that's that challenge. That's that all-star versus all-star challenge that you're supposed to want. 61% said no, so they agree with y'all. Yeah, yeah no, nah, he's... So let's talk about these Warriors a little bit. Warriors are 3-7 and seven in their last 10 games, lost four straight road games. Mm. Currently 9 and 11 this season, mm. 11th in the West. Mm. We talked about this a little last week, but when is it time for the Warriors to hit the panic button? Uh, I, I, I thought we done hit that shit. We done, every time we talk about that, we done hit the panic button. Have you? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, initially was, you said ride it out. Initially no, you said I, I, ride I, it out. No, ride it I'm, out with your, be loyal. No, I mean ride it out, but it's over. <laughs> like, hit the button. There's really, damn. like, when, when they decided not to pay Clay. When they decided not to pay Clay, wow. I don't think they knew that you have a guy going into the free agency market. Now his his future is uncertain. You should have known what mentally that was going to do to him, right? But that's you don't have any awareness of what it takes to be a basketball player, right? So we could have told y'all that. Well, Clay not having a contract. Uh, yeah, he ain't got the type of mind that just the motivation. Yeah, that that just says I'm playing for a contract year. Let me kick it in. Right, oh, versus yeah. somebody who's sitting there thinking about his certainty and he's one of those players, right? So for a guy who didn't have a conscience before, you gave him one. And this was been looking like. He, and to Clay's defense, he's been playing a little bit better the last four or five games. That's what's up. Look. Yeah, I don't like when you do that. That's <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm that means you just give me pass the point I'm trying to make. <laughs> Real passive. <laughs> passive, passive. That's what's up. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, it's... Yeah, we had the conversation and here, and yeah, I think it's some decisions are gonna have to be made, like real, real soon. Got to a Black History Month. Yeah, you gonna have to make some real soon, man. Like, cause it's giving, yeah. it's giving reminiscent of last year. Mm-hmm. Like, when you couldn't win on the road, and we knew why that was, but it's still like, so what is it now? Mm-hmm. Now you gotta look at the talent. So now what do you do? Like you gotta start looking and 
looking around that locker room and other than, mm. you know, Steph is untouchable. What else? You know what I'm saying? Like, what else do we, and now we got to start, like, hey, we got to get this boy some help or, like we said before, the fans ain't going to like this. <laughs> Somebody got to go. And if it's, <laughs> do, we, do we get rid of Steph to get some pieces back? In Ooh. order to do him the right way, not, and I'm saying, in order to, to right. do him the right way, not have him rotten. No, because the right I think they'll get rid of uh, Dre before they get rid of him. That's what we were nah, saying. You, you get rid of Dre, that turns. That's tough, though. You let, the, you let the, the Tigers, you let the Tigers loose on Steph. It's Clay. Clay. I think Clay and. Because I think, free agents, so, <laughs> like, like we were saying, here free think, agents, so you don't. I think, I think they're going to make a trade for him. Because. He's the only, like, when you're talking about getting better, you know when we go into the summer, enhancing our skill level, mm. right? It just seems like no matter, you, we can say the injuries or not, but from the time he came into the league till now, what has he actually improved? Besides just getting wiser and, you know, you know, a little bit bigger. What is has, what has, has he become he, that? What has player. he improved? Has he gotten better? Like when Steph came into the league, we seen what his weaknesses were. Those are not the same weaknesses today. With Clay, what have you actually gotten better at doing? Posting up, dribbling better, like coming off like right. you know what I mean? What have you gotten yeah. but we know you can shoot the shit out of the ball, so we know that you're gonna have years, you're gonna have months, weeks where you're flat out looking gorgeous. Well, I, out there. With, with that, I would have to say his defense, though. I mean, like as, as far as especially in early on in his career, pre-injury, mm -hmm. he was their best wing defender. Mm -hmm. He was the one who stepped up to want to guard the other, you know, premier wing uh, players in the league for that team. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, Dre, of course, he was down low, so that's a whole different story. But I mean. Yeah, I would have to say that's where Clay made his mark. Because at one point, I think it was what? He made either uh, first or second yeah, team, all defensive or mm -hmm. something of that nature. But I, I like him. I like him. You know, on top, and I'm not being biased. That's my nephew. I'm not. I'm outside of being biased. Mm -hmm. But, no, he, he helped that team. But uh, if if you think about it, though, if you're trying to win, it's easier for me to find another rebounder. Another another low post air quotes defender mm -hmm. like Dre mm -hmm. over a uh, shooter. You know everybody in this league now can't shoot. Them niggas ain't shooting. <laughs> oh, true. So see, let's talk about uh, Draymond a little bit. Plays with a lot of heart and passion, kind of similar to how you played during your career. But what do you think uh, about Draymond as a player, and what do you think about how he interacts with the refs? That's our fault. And when I say R, that's my fault, that's Ben Wallace's fault, that's Chauncey's fault, that's uh, Rip Hamilton's fault, Tayshawn's fault, that's Corliss's fault. Everybody in that locker room, because he grew up in our locker room. Um, one of his best friends was the son of the GM. Mm -hmm. So he was around us, practice uh, in the locker room, after games, before games. So he... He heard the different <laughs> language, and we all know it's a different language mm -hmm. when the cameras is not there. Mm -hmm. Got to be professional with it a little bit, but he heard all that, and that's what made him go out there. That's why he's doing the bully shit, <laughs> the bully shit he's doing now, in my opinion. But no, he, he, he caught all that shit in our locker room. I, I love him. I love him. That's my young fella. I love him to death, man. And, you know, I think I can... I have the privilege with him to be one-on-one -on -one if I have the privilege to tell him if he's right or if he's wrong with certain situations. But, no, that's my young guy, man. I love him. Does he ever reach out to you to be like, damn, should I choke Gobert? Should I choke him harder? <laughs> no, no. Not like, what? <laughs> not, not <laughs> like that. Was it no. hard enough? When, 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 I, when I see him, you know, when I see him, it's all love and everything. But, no, I, I, I got to let these guys play, man, because I had old heads, too. When I was playing, I had guys that played in the NBA, but... You got to let them play, man. You know, you can't critique every game because, number one, he's going to be playing at least nine months throughout the year just because of the team he's on. Mm -hmm. So you got to let guys play. There's too many games to try to critique him off of one. Yep. So you said you had a, a profound impact on Draymond early in his life, and he got to see a lot of stuff y'all had going on, and that's kind of his origin see. story. He, he saw how that 04 locker room was. <laughs>
<laughs> so Draymond only 10 ejections away uh, from tying your NBA record of uh, 29 ejections. Let's go. Let's <laughs> go. <laughs> <laughs> but will Draymond surpass you as the ejection goat? Let's fucking <laughs> go. <laughs> <laughs> We ain't even at the All-Star game yet. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's yeah. going to happen. 29 career ejections. He's got 19. It's yeah. going to happen. So and then, couple now, look, years here, away. If he's but, on pace. Here's the crazy thing. I don't wish it on my young fella, but I'm just tired of motherfuckers coming up to me and be like, oh, you got the record for this. <laughs> Actually, no, bitch, I don't. Yeah. I'm third <laughs> overall. I'm, I got the most for one year, but if he surpasses that, like... Third, you third in tech. Oh, you got the, the single season tech record, but I think you got the ejection record at twenty. Uh, yeah, so. I do. I do. Oh, I, I'm I do. proud of you, oh, though. But but we got to ask this question, and it should be lawyers involved. Since a referee came out publicly and said they were purposely doing it, shouldn't you be able to fight and get some of your money back on some of those technical? I did. Oh, okay. So you got some bread back on some of those funds. For sure. Oh. Okay. After, yeah. after he came out publicly? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Because that would have been, been the first thing. I would have said, like, wait, hold on. You just ain't going to come out, like, publicly and say, this so, is what y'all was doing. And you know, you know how they do it. They try to do it on the secret side of things. You okay. know, they don't want to make <laughs> things public. So, you know, I'm not going to discuss how it was. But, mm -hmm. yeah, I did. Okay. I did that. Uh, when that happened with him, that was... Seven games, it cost me like yeah, 2003. 1.3. Oh shit! So 2003, you got seven game suspension. It was a long, it was a long suspension for nonviolent or fight, mm -hmm. fighting related at that time. Yep, it was, and it cost me like 1.2, 1.3 at that time. So, but the, but the, my retribution from that was two things. One, when uh, me and my guy Bonzi, we had a podcast uh, a couple years ago. Um, and we interviewed him. And, you know, now you want to bring it out. It was retribution, right? Mm -hmm. That was number one. Number two, when I first, first found out that he was cheating, or, or I shouldn't say that he was cheating, that, you know, they actually, the league actually mm -hmm. caught him and exposed him and not the other, you know, guys who was witty. I'm in the middle of the Mediterranean Sea on vacation. At the time, I was married mm -hmm. with my wife, um, J05, Jermaine O'Neal, mm -hmm. uh, and a lot of our family. It was, you know, a nice little family trip. GM called me, Joe called me like, hey, 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 what's good, young fella? What's good, young <laughs> fella? I'm like, you know, I'm just out here on the sea, just enjoying life, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, she, you was right. <laughs> <laughs> What you talking about, dog? Mm -hmm. He's like, yeah, they, they, they got him. They caught him. I'm like, what you talking about? He said, the referee. You know, they caught him, you know, this and that. And, you know, that's all they, you know, saying right now. So I'm like, oh, shit. So now, right, and it just, it was ironic because right before that, my mother-in-law had called me. She home watching the kids and everything like, baby. It's all these reporters and all these trucks outside of the gate. You know, what you want me to do, this and that, da da da. Well, I'm like, mommy, you know, did they, you know, knock up to, on the door? Did they ring the bell, whatever? She's like, no. I said, all right, well, as long as they don't pass the gate, everything good. I was like, don't worry about it. The kids is good, right? She was like, yeah, they good. I'm like, all right, we good. But when I found out, I was like, oh my gosh. You talk about, remember when you won your first, like, state championship or no. city championship. Nope. Oh. <laughs> Come on, Gil. Grand high. Come on. Grand high. You, win shit. you won a championship before. <laughs> AAU a -A something. <laughs> and, and that that jubilation you was uh, feeling, that yeah. excitement, like, yo, yeah, yeah, we did it. <laughs> That's how I felt. That's how I was screaming on this boat in the middle of the Mediterranean Ocean. And everybody looking at me like, what is wrong with you? And, you know, I felt them in, but, yeah. oh, that, oh, that was retribution. Yeah, that's like championship right there. Okay. Retribution. That's crazy shit, man. <laughs> I'm hey, Beautiful bro. Beautiful moment. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. For all of us that were Sheep fans coming up, uh, didn't appreciate the way the league, you know. I know, that shit was wild. No, you, if we, yeah, we watched it in real time, man. Because us, us being out there and us cut from the same emotion and type mm -hmm. of a player, like we, 
Fact. Like, yeah, like, it felt like, yo, we was about that motherfucker, like, yo, these motherfuckers really out here cheating, bro. Oh, yeah, I used to tell like, them, hey, give him, give him the tech, ref. <laughs> give him the tech, he can't talk to you like that. <laughs> yeah, I used to do that shit all the time. Come on, ref. All of them did. <laughs> you know, all of them, And all you can did. say at a time, like, in, 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 in real time, in order to, like, come on, man, don't be doing that, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, don't cheat us. Right? Come on, don't, be, don't do that, man. Then you say that now. What'd you say? Like, yeah, what'd you say? Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, no, no. So, the craziest thing I asked the ref, I said, now, again, I'm a young fella, and I didn't know the actual billion-dollar business of the league at the time, but I'm going more off a game. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Mike playing. I'm like, yo, it was, it was, it was one of the... Uh -huh. And boom, foul, like, oh, now Mike going to the line. I'm like, yo, I'm like, come on. I'm like, do you really think that guys like Mike, Kobe... Brian, you really think they need your help to call a foul for them? I'm like, come on, dog. They already skilled offensively. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I don't necessarily need you to call no phantom calls for them. So stop dick eating mm -hmm. and just go ahead and <laughs> you rough the game. Like, because now the thing where I find it disrespectful with refs is the fact that you got the seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth dude that's on our team. He could be getting some minutes, no matter if he's a good rebounder, good defender, he could shoot, this and that, but he out there, yo, you got to give him the same respect because they're not thinking about the world like, damn, it's only, what, it's only been no more than, what, 3,000, 3,500 players total in the league, period, worldwide for the last 100 plus years? You got to give that man his respect a little bit. Like, God damn, we know that these star players are star power. Mm -hmm. But damn, get a little man some power too. Shit, don't make me just feel like a fucking peon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's trying to. Like, a rep, yeah. a rep, the easiest thing for a rep to do is it's, we don't need favoritism as a star. That 50-50 call. Right? If it's 50-50, like... It was right there between the block. You'll get that more. Yeah, but that's what I said before the block or the charge. Okay, I'll take that one. Right, yeah, 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 let me go ahead and get that. You'll get right? that more than me. <laughs> yeah, let me go ahead and get that. I'm getting all dog call. Every yeah. foul is on me, guys. That's what I said. The 50, like, the, like, if a rep, it's the 50 50 ones. Like, just making up shit that you reach in, you're trying to get the guy out of the game, you're doing too much. The 50 50s were, you know, we both diving at the same time, you know what I mean? And it could be an offensive foul or not. Like, right. Right. You know, if it was on me, no call. How about that? And I, I take the no call. I got my five fouls and I do a little reach, but he walked through it. No call. No call. I'm going to take those. Let, but let, I'm, that, let that go both ways. But though. I'm not going to complain. <laughs> I'm not going to complain. You, you, you give me a phantom call, I'm not going to complain. I can tell you that for sure. Well, y'all star players don't. <laughs> I mean, you're the star player in this league, yo. I mean, goddamn, motherfuckers paid to see you come score 50 a night now. I'm not Shit. Complaining. But exactly. Like, who fouled you? He them, did. Them motherfuckers, and guess what they'll call? <laughs> foul on 30. Yeah, yeah. Like, hey, hey, you know, a player do that shit and win. Hey, did I foul you? Yes. <laughs> you think I'm going to say no, show the ref up like he? No. Yes. <laughs> So, Sheed, you got a new show with Underdog Fantasy. You're joining forces with internet icon Tyler I Am Glad for the Sheed and Tyler family. show, premiering premier early 2024. So, let's see what this new show is all about. Glad to be part Sport of the family. What? Oregon. Huh? Weed. Yeah? Weed. What? What? Get out! <laughs> Ready to dance. This is Sheed and Tyler. That's Sheed. I'm Tyler. Why are we here? We're not going to be like any other podcast out there, any other show out there. Put a new kink in the game. Like what? Like what, what, what's going to make us different? I feel like we're sitting on a couch like other people. You know? Fuck you, dude. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> so. We can't wait for that. That'll be on the, the Underdog NBA YouTube channel coming yes, soon. Sir. Glad to be part of the family with y'all, man. So sure. Everybody out there, subscribe to our show, but also subscribe to Underdog NBA. So you can get all your Sheet and Tyler clips as the show gets ready to launch early 2024. Underdog family growing. Are you dropping that the link? Yes. Put the link, the link in, in the show. We like the new death row for basketball. Huh? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm pointing at you because you got the direct contact to the white folks <laughs> who got the links. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm just, that's all I'm saying. You got the direct, you got the direct contact. 
Let you and know. my speed dial, they ain't your speed dial. You know what I mean? Right. Every day we are one day closer to getting packed up. <laughs> Today is not that day, though. So like I said, she, we can't wait for that. And we have a special clip where we, you get the lowdown on what happened after your legendary both teams played hard press conference oh, shit. during the Blazers 2003 <laughs> first round matchup against the Mavs. I think that's after you went down 0-3, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay, yep. The series went seven, but let's take a look at that clip. What was your first interaction with David Stern? He didn't really fuck with me. Try to blackball me. My uh, both teams play hard, God bless and good night statements. Both teams play hard, both teams play hard. God bless and good night. My man Bob Witsit, Coach Dunleavy, Paul and David Stern is all on conference call. So I asked him, mm -hmm. what do you want me to say? Have your secretary write up a dictation on what you want me to say. Mm -hmm. So, you know, him and I just tit for tat going back and forth. So then, he, you know, he blurts out, hey, y'all don't tear up his contract. It's going to be bad for y'all in the, the next few drafts. Oh, he said it to everybody. And yeah, bro, like, I couldn't believe it. I love that they used the frozen envelope photo uh, for David Stern. <laughs> the frozen envelope? The, when he was reading for the frozen envelope. Oh, that's how they knew which one it was. It was colder than everything else. <laughs> that's the legend, Gil, okay? I'm not Is that the New York nickel? I would like an NBA credential once, at once in my life. Is that the New York nickel? <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think that that's sense. that photo. Yeah. But, uh, but see, we all saw that. We all, you talked about the call, but what happened after that conference call? Did you feel like the Blazers did anything shady or the league did anything shady following that whole situation? No. Uh, no, actually, at that time, they didn't. Um, uh, you know, rest in peace, Paul Allen, that's my guy. Um, he just uh, pretty much reiterated to me that they weren't going to tear up my contract and um, that we're going to, that he was on my side with this because he knew it was some, some BS overall because, again, we're the only professional show in town. Mm -hmm. And about, you got... Eight, eight beat writers who follows everywhere. Mm -hmm. Out of the eight beat writers, only like one or two who would report everything that you know was said. And then the rest of them, they trying to write this and write that to get out the small town area of reporting to go to a big city like L.A., Chicago, New York, Dallas, mm -hmm. you know, something like that. So if I write something negative, then oh man, I'm I'm gonna get the I'm gonna get the views, and this one pretty much back when links first started to, mm -hmm. you know, be popular. Oh, if I get this link hit and this and that, but they called us jailblazers. Who got locked up? Like as you, as you mentioned earlier, they wanted to call you a thug. Mm -hmm. Nigga, you ain't never been to jail. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You ain't never, you ain't never had no restraint orders, no police reports, all this other stuff. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I felt. Ain't nobody on our squad go to jail. Ain't nobody on our squad, you know, do this, do that to be an uh, embarrassment, but they just did it because, okay, we got a couple speeding tickets, some parking tickets, okay, but it was nothing major. It was nothing outside of what no other person did on that team. I mean, not on the team, but in public. <laughs> and here it is. So what rhymes with trail? <laughs> Jail. Uh huh. So that whole jail blazers thing, that's how that started with the whole negative media and it stuck with the country. Mm -hmm. So now if let's just say we're all we we didn't play ball. We all was in the media. So I'm on the East Coast, you in Midwest, you on the West Coast. So if you got some problems and we all homies now, mm -hmm. You got a problem with this one player on the West Coast. Oh, yeah, he's an asshole, this and that, da 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 Well, when he comes to the Midwest and the East Coast, we gonna give him problems mm -hmm. because you fucking with my guy. Yep. And that's pretty much how that whole situation was with the media out there, except for maybe one or two people. They're going off of negativity, or they went off of negativity to try to advance their career. But... As the player, like, you know, we had the town like this. You know, the town was 50-50 with us when Portland. Half of them liked this. Half of them thought we believe in the papers mm -hmm. was the thugs and all of this and that. But no, low key, bottom line, at the end of the day, motherfucker, we winning games. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, the uh, damn Shaq and damn Kobe, they was the only motherfuckers in our way. Mm -hmm. But, of course, you know, they were great players that they are and... It happened. Yeah, it went from the jailblazers to the thuggets. <laughs> <laughs> the thuggets. Trust me. Right. Tough. 
And then none of us get drunk. You, you're, yo, you remember, <laughs> you remember the, you remember the, because this wasn't, we wasn't on TV. So before, um, it was the Malice in the Palace, <laughs> it was Golden State versus uh, Blazers. <laughs> <laughs> His shot. <laughs> you were telling me about that. Yeah, the shit, is, <laughs> the Rasheed shot. <laughs> Turn around, jumper that started a whole melee. Oh, and God. Open. <laughs> I remember that to this day. <laughs> Hilarious. See, what do you remember from, from that moment? Oh, we was going back and forth with him. So it came down to the last possession. Um, they called my number, turn four. And turn four. So I had to rock. And, and I, I know y'all remember, because y'all was in the league at this time, too. I can't remember their brother's name, but they sat right there across from the Warriors bench. Yes. Like the last maybe four or five seats. Yes, our, right? yes, yes, so yes, I'm, yes. I'm going back and forth with them all night. Uh, turn four, they called my number. As soon as I turned, hit the shot, that's when uh, Bonzi and uh, Chris Mills got into it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they started, you know, shoving and pushing and grabbing and tugging each other's jerseys and all that. Mm -hmm. And it was like baseball. Yeah. Benches cleared. <laughs> like, yo, it was it was hilarious. You know, we had fans throwing shit at us and all this <laughs> yeah. shit. And, like, man, this this one fan did clock me, though. He, he threw, it like, a drink at me. And uh, that shit was like... Uh, I, f I felt like Arsenio in, in Coming to America when old dude threw the shake on mm -hmm. him. I mean, Eddie. Yeah. When old dude threw the shake on him, he was like, ugh. This. <laughs> That's how dude drink hit me. And oh, I tried to go up in the stands and everything. I had cats <laughs> tugging at my waist. And, yeah, man. I had people in the stands. They was fighting the people. Up. Oh, hey, look. Yeah, that was that was that was the malice before the malice. malice right that, was there, one, that was what I said. It was that one was wild. And 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 so no, this one made it wild for real. You get to sit because you on the bus. On the bus. Okay, yeah. So I, you know everybody. You know I was there. Tell it. I heard. So team security. Me. I mean, on both sides and and um, the arena security, they made sure everything was cool. All right, bet. So you know we go in and after the game had a coach meeting, this and that, blah blah blah. So we. You know, uh, shower up and do the media, this and that. Boom, bang, go out and, you know, you speak to your family, friends that came to the game, this and that. So as we getting on the bus, it's like, all right, we the last couple last dudes on. So y'all know how it was at that time when you leave in the arena on a visitor's locker room, you only got about 50 paces to you outside at the bus. Mm -hmm. So we all on there and we pulling out. And as, as they slide the gate back, mm -hmm. the security slide the gate back to let the buses go, man, before we left the lot, it was like two or three cars that pulled in front of us that didn't move. And old boy hopped out, was like, yeah, talk all that shit now. What the fuck y'all want? This and that. Da -da 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 -da. And we like, and, and team security like, yeah, don't y'all get off the bus. <laughs> <They're not. laughs> you know, don't y'all do nothing. This and that. He's like, yeah, you know. So man, it, it was crazy how that whole thing went down, but mm -hmm. it was it was resolved <laughs> by a couple of phone calls yeah. because you know at that time Chris was supposed mm -hmm. to have been you know mm -hmm. this and that, mm -hmm. and so we made some calls. I'm not I ain't gonna put people. Oh no, you know we know uh, yeah. those that no no trust. So you know made a couple calls to some OGs. Mm -hmm. Yo, man, get this nigga from the fuck up out of here, man. You know, we trying to go ahead. This this going to be a whole thing now because it's federal. You talking about dealing with a yeah. billion-dollar business, the NBA. Yeah, but like, like, thought, man, get this motherfucker out of here. And a couple calls was made, this and that, and that shit got squashed. Yeah, like, it got squashed for y'all, not me. It, it got I got squashed my for ass us. whooped the whole year. From that one moment? Yeah, because I wouldn't let it go. I wouldn't let it, oh, you talking oh, you to me like that, but you ain't said it to Bonzi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I, you talking about ass whooping, boy. I, hey, listen, he didn't touch y'all, no, but I got, look, whatever he was trying to get a Bonzi, <laughs> he gave that shit to me. <laughs> so we got some video of, of that, that game so for, for the audience out there so they can. Oh, for y'all do? Look, this used to be HD back in those days. Buckets. Oh, oh, I was going to say, that ain't the play. 
Just like, listen, listen. Yeah. Listen. Oh, God damn it. And look. Chris and Bond. <laughs> he had him already. Yeah. Chris had Bonzi already. <laughs> Bonzi like, good. hold up. I can't let him jump on my young boy. Who holding Anto- Rube back? Antonio yeah, that's, that's Daniels holding Rube back. You blunted AD. No, no, no. I had to, I had to hey. tear. Yeah. Hey, hey, look. <laughs> hey, look. Yeah. He was crazy. Lucky they held, held the man child back. Yeah. No, no. Antonio Davis, lucky he no, no. held that. What's team. so funny is I, because I see, like, oh shit. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. So I had to pick up the chair, like, come on, we got the same agent, bro. Yeah. We got the same agent. Hey. You know, we got yeah. the same agent. We got the same agent, bro. <laughs> we can't fight. No, Rube got that different strength. No, 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 no. He beeline right. It's like it was like the first person he seen with a white uniform. He was like, and I was like, it was Jason Richardson. No, we got the same agent. Yo, Rube, Rube Patterson, that's my guy. He one of them cats. I want him on my team. Yeah. yeah. If, if it come down to a scuffle, a street fight, what a, I want him on my team. Oh, y'all didn't have, so did Dan Fagan ever tell you the story about Rube Patterson? Well, which one? Shit. So they happen to, <clears throat> so, you know, he's uh, coming into the draft, mm-hmm. and he's talking about, you know, which agent. So all these agents tell him, you know, he's going to be a lottery pick, mm-hmm. right? <laughs> so he's like, yeah, so they're at the bar. No, he said they're not about, they, they, wherever they are, they just walking, and he, mm-hmm. they're talking, he's like, yeah, you know. Um, he's like, so where do you think I'm going to be drafted? He said, to be honest with you, End of the first round, second round. And Rube Patterson said, nah, I'm a lottery. Dan was like, you're not a lottery pick, right? He's like, I'm a lottery pick. He was like, Ruben's like, I am a lottery pick. Dan was like, no, you're not. He said, Ruben just hit him. Uh. <laughs> he said, Ruben hit him. Right, Dan tried to like, boom. He said, grabbed him, wrestled on him, beating on him. He said, yo, I'm trying to flip him over. He said, I've never felt strength like this ever in my life. It felt like five people was on me. Yeah. He said, I'm trying to get him off of Rubens, like hitting him. And right. then he said, he said, put his hand on like he fucking King Kong. He's a man of He said, he's my agent. Cause you honest. Now let's go get a beer. <laughs> he's a man of He said, I'm sitting here like, what? Hey, bro. Hey, I, I, man. Hey, he said, I got beat up. I'm, I, I'll tell y'all this one story about Rube next time I come back. <laughs> All right. It's, it's boy. The, the, <laughs> you hear tomorrow, Gene. <laughs> that so is tomorrow. We, we, <laughs> you an honorable man. We taking you at your word. Let me mark it in. We're doing tomorrow. Let me mark it in here right now. The slam heard around the world. Zebo. I ain't. Uh, yeah. Hey, listen, bro. <laughs> I, that shit would listen, yeah, but. Yeah, remember, yeah, I got Dan yeah, Fagan, yeah. so. so yeah, I got Dan no, Fagan, so I know all the stories. Yeah, rude. He, he only heard a little bit about uh, it. He wasn't there. So I'm in high school getting ready. I just signed with Cincinnati. Rube was at Independence Junior College with one of my former high school teammates. So you hear a story like, dude, in Junior College, like, he's destroying Junior College. I'm thinking, his motherfucker, like, Seven foot, two ninety. <laughs> like you hearing how strong this motherfucker is? What he, what he doing in junior college? Like this motherfucker here. Like man, y'all got to see this nigga Ruben Patterson play. Man, he. Let, so we. So come for our sign for it, and he come to Cincinnati later. I ain't like man, Ruben Patterson come to Cincinnati. Man. Oh, this fin got Danny over already. Uh-huh. And first time I meet, I'm like, then he started talking. I'm like, this what y'all talking about? <laughs> but. But as far as strength, <laughs> like pure, like, and then hey. you go to Cincinnati, he already big and strong. Then you go to Cincinnati, and we eat weights in Cincinnati. So you feed him weights for two years. Mm-hmm. And he gets to the league, and yeah, yeah. Bro. run through a brick wall. Yep. No, Rude's strong as hell. Oh, uh, yeah, he's, he's, he's one of them cats. If I was a coach, he's one of them cats I have on my team. Mm-hmm. No, Rude, yeah, he. So listen, so, so, this. so, so they cut him in Denver, right? against me. Get it. <laughs> Get it. <laughs> So he in training camp with us with the Nuggets. He bring him training camp and all that. Rube is playing, out playing everybody. You know, if you show, you if you judging this shit honestly, and it ain't about skill. Mm-hmm. To your point, yeah, give me give me Rube Patterson, give me Reggie Evans, give me give me them like all day. Mm-hmm. Rube is in a destroying shit. Of course, he taking the matchup every day. I want to guard Melo. Every day. Carmelo scoring, but he actually making the giving him but preseason rule mm-hmm. playing his ass off. So they make the decision to cut him. Mm. 
they want to bring me in the meeting because they know how. <laughs> no, nah, because I had already told them, you're, to your point, you were before, like, I mean, y'all cutting people who can fucking help us. Mm-hmm. Damn with his skill. Like, he can help us around this bitch. Put a team together. Just shit we was talking about the other day, right? You ain't putting a team together. You just accumulating talent. Mm-hmm. So they want to bring me in to soften the blow that they finna cut in. <laughs> <laughs> Like, sit me in there while, for one, it's embarrassing to have another teammate in there while you getting cut for <laughs> yeah, once. Yeah, yeah. But they, they trying to smooth it over for me yeah. so I don't they lose my shit. Somebody to hold him back. Yeah. <laughs> they, yeah. <laughs> Try, hey, man, that's not rude. He, yeah, he. College, that bitch word, mm-hmm. playing pickup, <laughs> former players come back, we hooping. No, they used to come back and fuck us up during practice. Hell, you just let them just distru- like do whatever to us in practice. So now it's just summertime. Ain't no coaches in there now. Mm-hmm. One of the former players get to talking that shit. Da, 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 bitch, this, da, da. Rude, don't call me another bitch, dog. Da, da, go down a few more, bitch, this. Listen, man, I'm gonna tell you again, dog. Don't call me another bitch, man. He got in bit. Listen, dog. Rude hit Fire him. Off. It sound like a gunshot in that bitch. Mm-hmm. Fire! Mm-hmm. They fight, we tried to do, tried to grab Rube, mm-hmm. ripped his fucking shirt off. Rube pulled back, <laughs> ripped his shirt off his back. <laughs> <laughs> ripped that bitch straight off. I was like, damn. <laughs> Break away shirt, huh? Yo, he tried to grab Rube, and Rube just took like a, a real hard step back huh. and just ripped that, let him just, I was like, <laughs> yo. Broke dude jaw, dude. When he hit him, mm-hmm. the way it sounded, because he didn't hit him like this, he hit him like that. Mm-hmm. Y'all broke his jaw. They, dudes, man, they fighting all that. He's spitting blood at Rube and all kind of shit, though. Listen, yo. <laughs> this is a hey, dog, that's, that's some <laughs> animal, dog. I'm telling you. Look, <laughs> hey, man, it took. The Kobe took, Stopper, which took, was a lie. <laughs> Kobe Stopper. <laughs> Kobe Stopper. Kobe. The Kobe was, Enderer. It was busting Kobe. It was busting Rube ass. <laughs> hey, dog. We was with him, though. Oh, you got to cheer your teammate, hey. though. I'm, I'm, huh? You, know, you got to cheer him on. Oh, yeah, moment. for sure. I'm, get I'm, him, Rude. Oh, my God. Get you know him. Because I, mean? I know hey, he's putting all into it. Oh, yeah, he low as shit, too. And, dog, uh, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I share I share that Z-Wo joint with y'all, dog. Oh, we can do it after, the, after we turn the mics off. <laughs> yeah. Because I need to, I that's, know about it, we'll but I'm about to tomorrow. As you just said a second ago, that's a strong-ass motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, we're going to lie to the viewers. We will talk about it tomorrow. Sheet is on the show. Y'all got to come tomorrow so y'all can hear it. See, that shit has Zebo come up. Oh. Shit, his ass right around the corner. Foul. That's foul. His ass right around the corner. So, shit, I want to get your thoughts on this, though. The CP3 Scott Foster beef has been well documented throughout the years. What do you think about that CP3 and Scott Foster situation? And should Foster be allowed to officiate any more CP3 games? I don't think he should because that's bad for business, number one. But number two, um, I didn't hear until the other day through some friends the reason why that beef is a beef. Mm -hmm. And I got to say for that, I'm on the side of Chris Paul. I will beat your motherfucking Mm -hmm. ass. Mm -hmm. Because now you're taking it beyond basketball. (coughs) It didn't happen on the court. It was some shit that happened off the court. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we talked about it on the show last week because we'd interviewed CP3 a few years ago. And after the interview, he kind of told us a little bit about what happened. Oh, yeah. Obviously, we sat on it out of respect. He brought it up, so we just wanted to be able to help. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. The, I, yeah. I, again. Yeah, yeah, that's what we I, said. We look, said. I ain't the type to say names where I heard it, where it came from, this and that. But, yeah, I'm, I'm with CP3 on that. Nigga, but, you talk shit about my motherfucking kid. I'm, it's, it's on. <clears throat> I, wish I, had, I wish I had a loose ball going your way out of bounds. <laughs> On everything, nigga. I'm a hey, wipe out. You, you know how them the coaches and the uh and the flag holders, the the first down holders be getting wiped out in yeah, football. Yeah. Oh. Oh, somebody got two guys yesterday. Yeah, game did. towards ACL. Oh, 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 yeah, towards ACL yesterday. Absolutely. The one thing about the 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 Chris Paul and Scott Foster thing that really should be considered by the NBA is it started off with him telling Chris Paul inside the game that, hey, you know, you've never won a, 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 a playoff game, you know, with me reffing. That was the first thing he said to him. Like, one, as a rep, how the fuck do you know that? Yeah. Because I'm following because it's a money game for me. But that's what I'm saying, the fact that that is even out there. Mm-hmm. 
Like, there's no point, that's what I said, there's no point in the NBA even trying to hide it. Just, he's not allowed to do these games and let people start tracking that shit. We don't give a fuck at that point, but the fact that every time he's on this, on the game, we already know it's gonna be cheated. Mm -hmm. There's no way you can stop it. Because if you, if he does make calls for CP, he's cheating. Because he don't want to look like he's not making any calls for CP, mm -hmm. so you're cheating. If you don't make no calls for CP, you're, you're cheating. cheating, right? So you lose with this man. Either way. But yeah, either way. You, so it's easy damned to just if not you do. Damned if you don't. Keep, get him off. Get him off all CP games moving forward. That's only going to be a couple more years. We don't know, you know. But let me just play devil's advocate for the league, and I don't support this opinion, but I just want to say it. Whenever it gets announced that Scott Foster's officiating the CP3 game. I would be curious to see what that viewership looks like because I know on social everybody is now excited about watching that game. No, Man, I, fuck I, the viewership. I, I, what, I, I, what, I, I, what's the bet line like? Yeah. I can tell you what the bet line like. That's good. Cause that's the biggest thing. Yeah. Like yes. shit. Yes. Now that's the bet the line. Yeah. The bet line is going for Foster. Absolutely. No, for sure. <laughs> if, it, if it's <laughs> like they playing one on one. No, no, no. See, if it's if it's let's say uh, Golden State. If it's Golden State, let's say minus eight. Whoever the other team is, they're gonna take that plus. Fact. They're gonna take the plus. If it is Even if it's, involved. If it's if it's Golden State plus eight, right? Or let's say uh Milwaukee minus five, you go with Milwaukee minus minus five because uh Scott Foster holds a minus minus ten eleven and a half against Chris Paul. I know because I was I bet. <laughs> but the way the words so I know the way I, the words are playing now, you just do that anyway. <laughs> shit. Right, if it's mine of mine, Scott Foster, shit, I'm taking it. Uh, oh, my bad. <laughs> and that goes back to, to the thing where it like the shouldn't be announced. No, it should. It shouldn't know beforehand. Mm -hmm. Just show they shouldn't know the referees before the game. Just show the fuck up and call you there. But my thing is, so when the whole Donahue thing going down, right? <laughs> what did he call in Scott Foster after every game? I think more than 100 calls. He wasn't calls, the only right? one. According so to the Whistleblower is, so, podcast. Look, look, let's, right? Look, let's be honest here, man. It was the lone wolf, Kmart. Like, he was the he only guy. He was the guy. only guy. They Stop, my dude. Come on, man. Let's, let's, come on, man. Let's be Tim, hey, that's the Tim, only, Tim was the only one thing. to expose a billion-dollar business with illegal gambling. It was nobody else other than Tim Donahue. But, hey, no way. That's but, wild, but that's bro. But the real story is you got to give credit to David. What, for squashing that shit right away? For understanding. Because, you know, so back, get out of control. so back then, you know, the FBI mm -hmm. went to David. Yeah. Right? So yeah. the FBI went to David and said, these are the people that we're looking at. Yeah. These yeah. are the people we're going after. Mm -hmm. boom, boom, boom. Absolutely. So, you know, David being a businessman, just let me know, keep me informed so I can make sure everyone knows, you know, we're going to work with you 100%. Yeah. So once he got, so once he got this list, he, uh, <clears throat> I want everybody to just report that Donahue got caught. Donahue's gotten caught, y'all. Donahue's got caught. So when the, the, the wire went out, De, uh, Donahue is um, working with the feds. The lone wolf. Yep, yeah, so what ends up happening is you, you working with him, like, oh, nah, you caught. In call. So now. In call. So you just allowed him to get caught by himself because now they can't tap. Yeah. Tap the phones and get everybody recorded. Well, it's the same way they did. Uh, what was that? The, the, we in the, we the all Cubs in the car scandal together. in 1901 with the World Series and mm -hmm. all of that. Red Sox, Red Sox okay. White yeah. Sox. Same, back, same, yeah, same yeah. thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, we all know. Like, come on, dude. Ain't there is no one person that's going to bring down a billion oh, he dollar go loud. Mm -hmm. business. That there's there's no way you can be a a, a, a ref by yourself. Doing what you're doing. Oh, the funny That's shit about it? Yeah. So, during that whole time, right, I, after I told you I got the call when I was out in the middle of the fucking ocean, and, and just watching shit how it went over the next, like, two, three years, uh, one of the cheating ass refs at that time, a couple years after, he was an SEC ref. He went to college. Mm -hmm. it, was like, it was like two or three of them referees went that to went down to college. I absolutely yeah. did. And all of a sudden, now they in the Big Ten, SEC, and the Pac-12. Like, <laughs> oh, like, yeah, I, I know who you are. Seeing you on TV. I know who you like, are. But just if we, without any evidence, if we're... 
talking to each other about who gonna give you a tech first. Yeah. The fuck else we talking we, about? So you know what I mean? If we're coming together to say, hey, you know, dinner tonight. You know, let's dinner tonight. Who who gonna give him a tech yeah. first? Yeah. If we're comfortable saying that with each other, yeah. we're not comfortable saying what we. What the, what the spread is, what we got on over. Yeah. I'm just being honest right here. Let's, yeah. just, be, let's just keep it just real. And, and it, it's the same right? crew. It's the same crew. Yeah. Now, now you got some of them guys, they want to be analysts for NBA TV, referee analysts for NBA TV, ESPN, you know, when they do the afternoon games, the big games and all that <laughs> shit. So uh, these are the same cheating ass <laughs> motherfuckers too. Cause now, who retires? Like if... You know, outside of health, who retires from a billion-dollar company when I'm making six figures? Who retires after, like, 16 or 17 years? You're not a player. Mm -mm. You ain't got no health issues. You ain't got no knee problems, no ankle problems, no back problems. Who retires? And you become an analyst of NBA referees. You become a director mm. of NBA referees. referees. <laughs> and uh, Let me the fuck out of here, dog. Yeah. Just yeah, in case, yeah. get these guys off them streets. Hey, yeah. dog, no, man. Is, how's the Wi-Fi doing, everybody? Yeah, <laughs> yo, you know, our shit about to start getting jittery yeah, in a second. This is, yo, because this is shit like, so I told y'all the story the other day that I got kicked out for clapping, right? <laughs> Listen, this is real shit. So we playing in Denver. We playing the, the Bobcats at the time. Jr. Wallace runs Jr. Jr. over, right? Hit Jr. hard as shit. Boom! Call a block. Jr. get up. He trying to, he laying on the ground like kicking. Fucking Kenny Mauer, like, get up, get up. I'm like, God damn, Kenny, give him a minute. Mm, That's what I said. Like, God damn, Kenny, give him a minute. JR get up. He give me a tech for saying, God damn, Kenny, give him a minute. Mm -hmm. The man get up, got a big ass knot, right? He holding his shit, go over to the sideline. As he go shoot the tech, they miss. I don't say shit. But it's a sarcastic clap. Mm -hmm. This motherfucker kicked me out of the game, dog. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I lose it. Mm -hmm. Two days later, we playing in Minnesota. Guess who's the ref? Kenny Maurer. Kenny fucking Maurer. Want to be Pat Riley. Come up to me before the game trying to talk to me. <laughs> of course. No. Off the top. <laughs> before the ball go up. I done lost it. Yeah. <laughs> then cussed him. The, now you know how the game's gonna go. Yeah. I'm gonna get two quick ones. Mm -hmm. Sit out for the rest of the first quarter. Now it's like, yeah. and damn, behold. Yep. Been <laughs> that's, that's, yes. That's how it play out. Been there, done that. That's I, that bullshit, man. That like the real, like the league should do a better job in money. Cause you heard the fucking take. Cause he didn't turn the mic off. Cause mm -hmm. you heard exactly what I said to him. Cause y'all mm -hmm. called me after the game. Mm hmm. Can, and then my thing the with, ref, with them, know, the, 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 what the, you calling the, me for? You already know what he said. Yeah. You already know what happened. So what the fuck you calling me yeah. for? Oh, you're calling me so it can look good on the report. Absolutely. For, for what? Yeah, you you already mind, done man. fined me, yeah, you you suspended me, you ejected mind, me, though. all that other shit <laughs> that come with motherfucking money. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. That one cost me 35 What's wrong yeah. with y'all? Yo. Failure you, to leave. Failure, <laughs> oh, <laughs> failure <laughs> to leave court in a timely fashion. Verbal what? abuse of a game hey, official. Hey, listen. Oh yeah, they were racking See, that shit on. And they, they didn't even give me no excuse. <laughs> at least they, at least they gave you an excuse. Oh, that's what they put on the fine thing. That's what they put on the paper. Ah oh, man. Is it, is it, <laughs> oh yeah, when I got my motherfucking envelope, I got my goddamn slip at the uh, damn thirty five. Damn. Ooh. Man, listen. <laughs> I used to get them motherfuckers. I used to give. The Blazers and told them to hold a, a blank check for the league. I knew I was gonna get fucking fine. I already knew that. So the thing is, I was telling people, right? And this is how we, how smart he is, and how smart, like, trust me, if them motherfucking texts were going for what they're going for now, ain't no way in hell he would have been getting that many. 
Oh, word. I can tell you that shit, right? Because I know... Wait, but, 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 you, you, you wouldn't but have even if he, $500. But even if they purposely... $500. That's what but they was. But yeah. even, yeah. If, they they were, pur- even if they purposely doing it... If I, it's true. If it's $500 so, or $500. I know you $500 is $500. You want to hear what the fuck I got to say for $500? $500? Absolutely, you're going to hear my mouth for 500 So basically, Draymond technically owes the record. Yes. Because back then, it was only $500. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Now, now you get suspended for way more. So just imagine. Bro. If them motherfuckers was twenty five hundred a pop back then, I know. For five hundred, I'm gonna get this. For, for eleven hundred, oh, I get to call you all out your name yeah, yeah. and go get me a drink in the shower early. Oh, so, hey. so Draymond, you, tri- hey, Draymond, you tripping? <laughs> hey, I can go get me a shower early. And well, but that money LBs. difference. Yeah, yeah. Yo, you know what I'm saying? Yo, yeah, hey, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yo, that. That five, because yeah, five it was five hundred dollars. Yeah, because yeah. because that's what we sell. Oh, ain't number five hundred. That's, that's like I take that. I, I eat that. that. I eat that five hundred. Five hundred. I eat that. Yeah, <laughs> now it all makes sense. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like that's what it was. Like, we gonna take that for me to for me to, to tell you that you full of shit and you cheating out here, <laughs> you motherfucker. You, you gonna hear me? You gonna hear me for five hundred <laughs> for the very low price of five hundred dollars. Very low price. Very low price. I get to call you out your name. name. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that actually man. is worth it. When y'all present it like that, it makes sense. I mean, we playing the Golden State, right? I mean, and they didn't have like the suspension rules for the certain, you know, the ejection, you know, I don't know if was, and all that shit. I don't know if you was in Washington man, yet. We playing that. in Golden State and Hayward working. You know, he's a former player. Oh, hey, Hayward. Mm-hmm. He said something on the baseline. Oh, you motherfuckers ain't going to be talking to me like that out here. Oh, and they, I opened up on it. <laughs> and the go- player from the Warriors was like, <laughs> that was all young too, and they was like, <gasps> "He can talk to him that way." It's like, man, you said that to him. I was like, "Yeah, man, fuck him. He's standing right there." Mm-hmm. I'm like, "No, he said what he want to." I, I went right <laughs> over to the bench and I told Jim, everybody was sitting around the bench. I said, "Hey, Oregon got one more time to say something out here crazy." They're like, "What he say?" <laughs> I said, "He got one, one more time. <laughs> yeah, one more He's time. Former player. Yeah, oh, yeah, he was yeah. a former player. Yeah. Yeah. Former yeah. player. Yeah. So you going? Yeah, that's no, 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 no. Uh, just cause you put some stripes on." Oh no, buddy. <laughs> so now you believe in them, but yeah, yeah, when, nah. when you was on our side as the yeah. player, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you was giving them grief and shit too because he was on a good team in Indiana. Mm-hmm. Reggie, Dell, yeah. uh, uh, Rick Smith, oh, that, you know yeah. that whole squad. Yeah. Work was a good dude. Workman was a yeah, good dude. Absolutely. But hey, hey, Woody, now you, now you a ref? Hey, nah. <laughs> hey, Woody. Now, yeah. now I can talk to you. I can really say something to you mm-hmm. because. You know where the fuck I'm coming from. Absolutely. Shit I'm saying. Yeah, you, you motherfucker ain't gonna be talking to me like that. I punk <laughs> ass. Who the hell are you talking to? <laughs> Man, <laughs> listen. Well, let's, Shit. let's change the subject a little bit. So, Sheet, on this show, we've talked a lot about a bunch of different things, but one of those things is off-season workouts, training, and learning the game from certain players. So, would you ever pay $50,000 to learn the game from a Hall of Fame level big man, perhaps from Nigeria? Um, and in this time and age, dream, dream, and, dream. And, yes, yes. In this time and age, if I was that Hall of Fame player charging these young fellas, yes, I you would. You would do it. Yeah. Um, let me look into the camera. Yes, I would. You guys can give me a call. <laughs> I am Sheed on Instagram, and hey, <laughs> I trust me. I will teach you offense and defense. So. <laughs> What are we getting that for that 50? That was my PSA. That was my PSA. See, what are we getting for that 50? <laughs> oh, that, oh, man, you're going to get both sides of the game. You know what I'm saying? You're going to get a lot of talking for the first two days because now you got to see where their mental is at. But also, no, you're going to get both <laughs> sides of the game because every guy ain't with it. You know, everybody say, oh, I want to work out. Mm-hmm. Oh, I want to do this. I want to do that. But the, the work ethic shows you. No, nah, that's why for certain high school and collegiate players I work out, I don't charge. Because now I got the freedom to be like, okay, let's work. If you're not working, fuck out of here. Come on, mm-hmm. bring that next dude. So now you're not wasting your money, your mom or dad or agent, whoever not wasting their money. No, go ahead. You ain't, you're not trying to work. <clears throat> Come on, let's get it. You, have you had to do that? I, want, I don't want to know players' I did. names, but okay. I did. I, I stopped working with certain young people because um, the work ethic wasn't there. And no, nah, you wasting my fucking time because you want to waste my time? He could be in the gym wait, wanting to get good time, and I know he works hard. You know what I'm saying? So that's, that's how it goes, and it's just a shame that, like, AAU fucked this whole game up, in my opinion. And I used to coach AAU, but... 
And why do you feel like that's the case? Uh, because they, they just pamper. You got a lot of AAU coaches out here who, one, don't know the game, two, don't know their players, three, don't know how to coach, but four, if I got a good player, I'm going to ride that coattail to try to get with him or her to the WNBA or the NBA to success. So now I'm telling him or her everything that they need to hear. Hey, no, nah, you ain't, man, fuck all that. Passing with them, then shoot that shit, man. You you know what you could do. Shoot mm -hmm. that shit. That's mm -hmm. why they got you on the team. I done heard it all. So, I mean, I tried as an AAU coach slash parent. Look, what y'all got to say, say that shit now. Because I don't want to hear that shit telling your son or your daughter, man, shoot that. You coming off the screen. Shoot that. You wide open. Hey, mm -hmm. we ain't going. We, we learning basketball here. I care about these kids. I'm spending my own money. I'm not asking parents for nothing. When I ran AU, I didn't ask parents for nothing. Work out certain people, I'm not asking parents for nothing. I'm spending my own time and money because I believe that your son or daughter has that talent to be able to go on. Only thing that I ask, if they turn pro, y'all go ahead and reach back the same way. That's, that's my only charge. Mm -hmm. That's it. Other than that, man, yeah. That, Fuck all that AU shit. <laughs> hey, I'm f look, on some real shit. Let's give a proper. This man got his own his name on these motherfucking off whites. Let, let fuck all that, man. I didn't understand. Yeah, that shit gangster, my nigga. No, nah, that was that was by mistake. No, no. Well, <laughs> fuck whatever it was. It's the prototype. It's gangster. They golf. They golf. Huh? They golf. What? Golf shoes. I don't know if you want like, them to be, they look like about a size thirteen. No, I'm just talking about the bo the bottom. <laughs> If, if you want them to be, they're 14, oh, bitch. Oh, damn. Motherfucker, yeah, I hear you, no. Yeah. <laughs> hey, uh -oh, no, that, trigger that, word. That, hey, 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 that's, no, that's going back yeah. to when we was playing, yo. <laughs> he was one of the few cats that used to tease me about my feet size, yeah. right? So playing, playing ball, I wore 13 because I don't like my foot to slide. Why? So, yeah, you know, and my relaxing shoes are 14. So these are 14, so that's <laughs> why he just said the 13 yeah. remark. Yeah, like, man, how the fuck you seven that? feet, seven one with a oh, 13 in? small. <laughs> It's just smaller than mine. I playing in 13. I'm that's like, yo. That's the same thing. Played in 13s because I don't want my foot to slide. I played, tore all these nails up. <laughs> yeah, I played. All in these was dark black. See, I played in 14s. I just put on. Nails falling off. Yeah. I got a new one. Uh, yeah, they don't understand. Rebirth. Yo, you, yeah. yeah. <laughs> multiple pair of socks. I played in 14s, though. Yeah, dog. Oh, you, oh, you, I, I oh, you stuffed them. But, but yes, they, they are 14s. For, this is a relaxing shoe there. That's your name Mr. On Martin. This, this, that's gangster. <laughs> they have your name on them, though. That's gangster. Thank you much. Yeah, well, you get your name on any shoe, you know, with the Nike ID joint. Yeah, nah. <laughs> but they ain't sitting out. Fuck all that. <laughs> they sent those. Yeah, nah, it ain't like that. <laughs> That's the one. You're trying a lot of these folks. Yeah. <laughs> Off white. No, damn well, you bro. can't order these. <laughs> Everybody ain't getting that, trust me. So, a couple more questions for you, but, <laughs> you know, on this show, we love to get flowers. So, who's a player from your era that you feel like doesn't get the love they deserve? Oh, wow, shit. Damn. I gotta think about that one. Because it was, it, was, it was so many good, like, overall basketball dudes, man, like, that got the wrong impression from the media or even from the fan base themselves. Um, I would say for me, I would, I would definitely give my flowers to my guy, Jay Ryder, J.R. Ryder. Like, as much as they want to talk shit about him and the type of player that he was, at the end of the day, score. At the end of the day, a baller. End of the day, for a lot of the basketball fans out here, they call MJ the GOAT. Mm -hmm. MJ respected him. And I, I seen that one night. I was like, man, you know, I'm, I'm talking shit to MJ. Like, yeah, man, y'all can't stop us. This and that. You better get little ass Rodman off of me and this and that. <laughs> da, 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 da. And Mike, Mike gave me that look like, like, all right now, don't, don't let me get started. And I don't give a fuck if you get started or not, man. <laughs> let's go. Let's get it. Da -da 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 -da. I'm talking shit. <laughs> Jay Ryder like, hey, she, calm down. <laughs> Stop that. Stop that. Yeah. You know, you ain't got to guard this motherfucker. <laughs> I do. Like, I got you, Jay, man. Fuck that. <laughs> no, I stopped that. But no, I did. I would say Jay Ryder, man, like, like him, um, for, for me, 
overall, and I seen his career from the beginning to the end. And and Kmart, I know you probably can tell you was there too. Um, a guy who don't get enough flowers for me, dog, is Jermaine O'Neal. Like on the court, mm -hmm. oh man, J O five. He don't get enough flowers for me. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I seen his work ethic from the time he came into the league as a scrawny little kid, and but he had the fire. He had that same passion and heart that we got. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? He just didn't have a muscle, and but man, he put the muscle on. I seen young boy. He was in a gym before I got to practice. He was gym. He was in a gym when I left practice, and like you know, as far as. Basketball heads or cats who know basketball knowledge about certain games and it's that he don't get enough flowers, man. They always want to talk about uh, uh, Tim Duncan, KG, or myself, but man, no, nah, it was a whole lot of other power forwards that I played against. That definitely, motherfucking, this dude right here, that wasn't no cakewalk playing against this motherfucker. Antonio McDice won the cakewalk. C Webb won the cakewalk. Mm. Um, and we you know, talk on it. Shit. <laughs> talk on it. And this is the, all during our era. But out of all that, nobody really mentioned Jermaine, man. And it's like, shit, only thing he didn't do was shoot threes. You know, because of course he was a traditional big. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm going to go 15 feet and in. Post moves, defender. I think at one time he might have led the league in blocks or some shit like that. Yeah. Like, dog, he yeah. need, yeah. No, JL worked his ass off, man, become an all star. Multi year, multi all star. So, no, man. I, that, yeah, he, that's my guy. Man. Like, um, so my second, good dude. My second all star, um, my second all star, 05, 06, right? I'm averaging 29 a game, right? So I'm fourth or third in NBA in scoring. Mm. So that's when the NBA decided to go with that Pistons bullshit, y'all. What? what y'all. When he, they put, put all four y'all in. Yeah, when they put all four y'all in, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm, I don't know what you're talking remember, about. I'm, I wasn't there. It wasn't me. <laughs> yeah, you, so I'm sitting here like, all right, cool. That's, that's cool. Winning, cool. We fifth, good, right? And then they skipped me and then went with, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and scoring. And then um, Paul Pierce is in there. His team was last. They're in there last. And um, Chris Bosh. I'm like, what the fuck? How is this happening? Because yep. it went by position. I, I didn't understand mm -hmm. that. So I didn't make the All-Star game. And then J.O. was hurt. So they had the replacement. Mm -hmm. So I became the replacement player. Right, and, and every time I see Jay, hey man, thank, hey big bro, hey man, I don't know, thank you for getting hurt, baby. <laughs> I don't know if you playing yeah, this. Like, <laughs> hey man, thank you, baby. This is like both ours. Man, no, you know me and Jay O battled out there at East Man before I left. So mm -hmm. yeah, my first playoff series against him in Indiana, that the five games at first, mm -hmm. yeah, we bumped. Like, hey, we had Shit. a good bump for them five games. Man, I, I wish you wouldn't have left, dog, on everything because once I got to the East, you were still with Jersey. Mm. J.O. was with um, mm -hmm. Indiana. with Indiana, yeah. and it was like we was the at the time in the East. Yep. There wasn't no other power forward. All the other power forwards was on the West. West. Mm -hmm. Everybody me. like, dog. Oh man, oh, no, no, trust. This. They ain't got to tell me. Jack. <laughs> we talked about it on the show. Like, I went from. One, two, three out here. It's when I go out west, nigga, I'm starting out at six. Word, yo. Like, I'm starting out off top. He said off top. But when, when, I, when I signed with Denver, I was the sixth best power forward off that mother. <laughs> <laughs> yo, I just signed a max deal, and I'm, I'm <laughs> six. Like, man. Because, no, so he know, man, we, when he came out to the East, wow. I was, me and J.O. was fucking... Yeah. Destroying the East. That was it. It wasn't. It wasn't Nobody no other was doing, power forwards. Yeah, that was doing. You know, you man. had you had some other bigs. I think mm -hmm. at that time you had Zoe at the five, but you know that was more traditional. Where the fives were guarding fives who were more methodical with their moves. And then, if you didn't have an athletic power forward, shit. Yeah. So this is how which crazy, which this is how crazy shit is right. Mm -hmm. His first game in Atlanta. Oh, his first oh, only, only game, game in Atlanta, game. right? Yeah. He played against us in Jersey. Yep. 
Then he leave that motherfucker and go to, he, he tell me during the game, oh no, I ain't going to be in this motherfucker tomorrow, man. I'm <laughs> leaving tomorrow. Listen, He's not leaving tomorrow. Who was uh, the five? Was it Jason Carr? You got rest his soul. Yep. Jay Collins. I, I open up, this motherfucker just do this. <laughs> I swing that bitch, he just let me go. Man, I put that thing on Jay. <laughs> no, no, no. He just like, shit, good done, K-Mart. Just run his ass back on D. I'm like, yo, this motherfucker. <laughs> good done, K-Mart. <laughs> yo. Hey. He said, I shit, I ain't going to be here tomorrow, no way. Uh, <laughs> I ain't going to be here tomorrow, no way. Yeah, I was having fun, man. It was, it was me, Steve Jack, and, uh, and the Jet J. Terry. J. J., yeah. Oh, man, shit, I was having fun. That's when we had a, a young Boris Diaw yep. before he went to San Antonio. And um, Joe, jo Joe Prisbilla. <laughs> yeah, oh, that was the five. The, yeah, he was five. our five, Joe Prisbilla. He's oh, my draft. Oh, yeah, that's before Joe Johnson got there. He's my draft. Oh, way before. Yeah, that was, yeah, yeah. So y'all played a ton, to get, a ton against each other, but let's talk about when y'all played with each other, 2012, 2013 season with the Knicks. And I just want to talk about that squad. You had a roster full of legends on that squad. So Kmart, you were there, Melo, J.R. Smith, Tyson no, no. Chandler. Let me go to the bathroom, y'all, before we keep it going. Where's think, the bathroom at? Oh, right there. Yeah. Do you think you we got it? Yeah. This See, is grab your mic pack. Grab oh, your mic pack. You good. We going to keep it going. Oh, we going to yeah, keep yeah. it going. That's oh, why. Damn. Oh, all right. That's all okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Put my shit on <laughs> <laughs> make, sure, and make sure we mute the mic so nobody at home. Who's the big something? Ladies and gentlemen, this is a black show. <laughs> we, we do come black things. We go back to it. What's the next time? Gotta make some water. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say that one for tomorrow because we gotta get in depth on it. Okay. We gotta we gotta really get in depth. All right, well, on no, it. it was no. We had some names on that shit. J Kid was there. Myself, She, Tyson, Mello, Ari. Ari. Yeah. We had Shump, Marcus, can't be Kurt Thomas. My, yeah, we had. We had a bunch of old fuck old. bigs. Old bigs. <laughs> young guards. Young, yeah, J. Kidd running this year. We had Pablo Prigioni. <laughs> Y'all tell she 130, I already know. We, go, we run long sometimes because this <laughs> yeah. is what we do. We know how to hold our water. Yeah, no, yeah, that's how Gotta take her mind to other places. Yeah, no, that, you know, that team was... Brandon be the funniest at that, so y'all don't, don't see it, but he'll hop over. While we're in the middle of discussion, just hit the couch real quick, come back. <laughs> like nothing happened, like a legend. But we got she coming through. Wait, they said Joe Prisbilla was the vanilla gorilla? <laughs> Who put that in there? On my team. <laughs> That's his <a> nickname. <laughs> Not to be confused with Gorilla Glue, Draymond Green. <laughs> yeah, we was. Hey, she, what was your actual nickname? Are we filming right now? All right. Yeah. We don't stop. Yeah, what was your what was your what was your actual nickname? What what? Your actual nickname. In the league? Yeah. Um Roscoe. Mm-hmm. Dang, you didn't you didn't miss the ball, don't lie, that would have been. Oh no, that wasn't no. Oh, that wasn't even, that, that, that didn't, that didn't come that, that, didn't come that didn't come to the end. Oh, to the end. That didn't come to the end. <laughs> that was your, yeah, no, my shit was Roscoe. Yeah, did you coin that? <laughs> Bought online? Yeah. Nah. You didn't trademark that? No, nah, you know why? Because I, I didn't because once you trademark shit like that, that's when motherfuckers stop saying it. I.e. when Pat Riley uh, trademarked uh, three-peat. Yeah. They stop saying it with, in a lot of sports. With hey, that's, that's funny when people do trade, like trademark them because people using it, and then mm -hmm. they don't realize once you do it, no one uses it anymore. Because they can't. Like, yeah, because you can't. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, like, hot girl summer. I was like, yeah, you, you about to kill that. You about to kill it, Megan. You about to kill it. Go, or whoever, it's going to be done. Ain't going to say it mm -hmm. no more because you're going to want to charge for it. Mm -hmm. Okay. People can say it. They just can't put it on. They can't put it on merchandise. They, it's, just, it's just funny, though. Yeah. Can't merch. I, I heard the shit in football. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I heard the shit in football. Your guy one night said it. Tony Romo <laughs> said that he was commentating the game. And uh, I think the play went down like, um, it was a felonious flag on a pass interference, and then like that very next play, the quarterback threw an interception <laughs> to the same. He tried to throw it to the same receiver, but that cornerback intercepted it, right? And Tony Rowan was like, "Oh yeah," he's like, "Yeah, that's like the basketball phrase. Yeah, the ball don't lie right there." It went right back to him. I was like, "Oh shit!" I'm like, "Oh, right. he's like yeah, we done blew up now." I'm like, "Yeah, we made it." We made it. All right, that's what's up. So who gave you, Roscoe the nickname, who gave you the Dirty 30 nickname as well? Oh, wow. Uh, she, I, both of my nicknames, uh, Roscoe was given to me by Walt Williams. 
Uh, Walt the Wizard. The oh, legend. Um, the high um, socks. Uh, yeah. I said, there you go right there. That's good enough. <laughs> and, and Dirty 30 was given to me by my man Dave when I was in Carolina. Okay. Um, it, was, it was like maybe the second semester my soft, I mean my freshman year. Okay. And he gave me the Dirty 30. And I was like, all right, that kind of stick a little bit. <laughs> like, all right, let me fuck with that. <laughs> so for, before you had to go, you know, use the facilities. We were talking about just that 2012, 2013 year with the Knicks and that that illustrious crew of legends. So mentioned again, we had Kmart, Mello, J.R. Smith, Tyson Chandler, Q. Rich, Jason Kidd, mm -hmm. Amari, Shump, Marcus Canby, Kurt Thomas. I think Prigioni was on there too. Like Pablo. You had, yeah, you had mm -hmm. you had a, a, an elite crew there. So what, you came out of retirement to actually play on that squad. So I just want to know from both y'all, what was that like? Obviously, two former rivals going up against each other in the league to now be teammates on this same team with all these dynamic personalities. Man, I loved it. That meant we could beat these motherfuckers up, and I ain't had to get beat up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like shit. We, when you're going against certain players, you know it's going to be war. You know what I'm saying? So to be thankful enough to have him, Marcus Camby, and Kurt Thomas on that team, like those are my veterans. Now, um, no disrespect to Tyson or Amari, but, you know, we were the three older power forwards on there. So, uh, you know, it was nights, night in, night out, battling against these guys. So to actually play against them, I was like, I mean, play with them, I was like, all right, cool. Like, like, shit, that make the game easier. And then to play with uh, J-Kid, that made it even more crazy because I played against J-Kid in high school at the uh, Beach Ball Classic in, oh, in Myrtle Beach. I remember And got that. to know him, his family, and all of that stuff. So been knowing him since, but he joined the team. Um, Pablo, with him having uh, the... Resume that he did, coming from Argentina, winning gold medals, you know, busting USA guards' ass at that time when they won it. Like, all right, like, this is, like, shit, this is a formidable team. Plus, it was the last time that I think at that moment the Knicks had won, like, 50-plus games. Um, the last time that they had been to the playoffs past the first round. And it was a lot. It was a lot that we set. And our, our main goal was, hey, teamwork make the dream work. Mm. And, but we was definitely enjoying ourselves for sure, a thousand percent. I remember you talk about that beach ball class. My brother played at Crenshaw, so he came back with the program. And that's the first time. I, I think Jermaine played in that, too. He was mm -hmm. younger. But yeah, he was from there. He, yeah. Jermaine went to Eau Claire yeah. down there. So I remember uh, just flipping through it and looking at all these legends playing in that mm -hmm. game and seeing yourself, too. So that's crazy when you say that. But, Kmart, what was it like for you to be on a squad with all these, these legends? I don't know, it was just, yeah, for she noticed. And when you've always had to be the voice the the keep guys in line th and the the enforcer the like when you've always had to be that and then you get around other people who was that for their team <clears throat> you can kind of like he said you can kind of like exhale a little bit yep. and I ain't never been on the team where I had somebody else that was next to me that was the same energy that was the same so I had yeah. she I had Tyson I had so it's like yo I could. I ain't gotta be all of that. I could just go hoop now, and I. But still, be that if I need to be. But I could take some of that off, and to have them dudes in the locker room and to just basketball minds to hear the way they think and how they approach the game. And you've always admired it from afar because you battled, and you just knew what they was about, and you knew they was gonna bring their A game every time we played one another. But to have that right there, and me and J Kid already had that rapport. Me and Melo already had that report. Me and JR already had, like, we had already been there. So right. me to know these other guys was my focal point. Me to get to know what I'm saying. So it was, it was dope, man, just being around them and, and just seeing, like, that everything that I thought about them was real. I'm saying they validated everything that I had already thought about them. 
Like, what were those like team plane flights, like bus rides, all that type of stuff? I mean, I know I, stuff on the court, yeah, but like, what's what's the wildest shit? That oh, that's gambling right there. <laughs> that's big money. Right there. That's low. That's old money. That's a lot of cards. That's small hundreds. <laughs> cards. Small hundred faces at that point in time. A lot of cards being played. A lot of shit talking. <laughs> yeah. Just just us being because we were all on the other side of thirty. You know what I'm saying mm -hmm. we 33, 30 plus. So we hanging out. Experience is different. Conversations are different, life and and coming up with nicknames for guys and shit like that. The fun like, part of the NBA. Yeah, you know, they're like yeah. re, re, knowing your guys and you can say something to somebody and they know where it's coming from. Ain't yeah, nobody ain't getting offended. Ain't nobody taking nothing heart to heart. Like, it's, yeah. it's, it's that. <clears throat> like, and, 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 like, that's what you need. And that's what we were so fortunate to have a bunch of, in one locker room. And we had a head coach that allowed us to be grown men and, and mm -hmm. Woody. Mm -hmm. So change and shoot around from us having to get up first thing in the morning to us having to be in the gym at 4.30. Shit like that. Bad. Because like, you can trust so. guys to be professional. We, we, like, that's great because you know, you know who you got in your locker room. Mm -hmm. you got a bunch of guys. Right, some of us kids there. Some of us got responsibilities. 85% of us are going out the night before. Yeah. So you know you got us. You know you got it, so see you at 4.30. <laughs> which, which, which makes more sense, the best, if you really think about it. That should be the time of shoot around. Absolutely. Where you bring the players in right before the game, whatever knowledge you get them, they can retain it for the game. Right then and there. Versus 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. Well, we all know where that came from. Yeah, that's, 80s. Yeah, that's the way right? yeah, They were drunk and high. They had to make sure they were still alive. I don't know. <laughs> they was living like shit. Nobody on their motherfucker. They had all fours in the air. <laughs> I, I like the 430s. You know, the 4 four thirties for the veterans, because yeah. we know what yeah. the fuck to do. We know what we're doing. The young guys, no, the young guys they do need to, that, that should be <laughs> that like That year, the Chris Copeland's and... Hey. But, but the thing about it, if you, yeah, but, but, yeah, but, yeah. But, but think about the young dudes, right? Like, whatever you told them at 10, 11 o'clock, they don't remember. Yeah. I think they, they should do remember. both. I think they should have to do both. They, yeah. yeah, but like get the them ten but, and the four thirty. But right before the game, <coughs> like yo, this is the game plan. Like oh, all right, coach. You tell them at ten, like by the yeah, time bro. they get there, bro, they done forgot everything. I got two and a half hours <laughs> plus all night to sober up. Yeah. yeah. So let's get yo the, the crazy shit I saw when I was there. Of course, Pablo was a rookie, but he was older than coming from playing overseas, professional, all that. And you don't see rookies. Normally, come out that motherfucker practice over. This motherfucker, they're doing him a three-minute run every day. Yeah. Every yeah. single day, dog. Mm -hmm. Pablo Prigione did a three-minute run every day. That was that was his warm-up. Before, before, be, before, before practice. He did a three-minute run every day. And I was in that motherfucker in awe. Like, this, like he really... <laughs> like, like, and it, it's crazy because you say that. We look at that as torture. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, damn. Got to run today? Like, we got three minutes. Like, he, did that as he did that shit as uh -huh. every single day, man. Like, I was, yeah, he, as, as professionalism. Yeah, yeah I was about to say, yeah, he's for a rookie, about it. For a rookie. Like, he came in there for a rookie. Like, he was already, but for him to, like, yo, I was like, yo. What year was this? 2012. 2012, 13. Young oh, see, I, I didn't see them. Because my teammates was uh, Chin, Lee, Chow. I was in I was in China, <laughs> right? So I I, I didn't this team y'all talking about. I don't know. Yeah, I hope that was a really your teammates. Name, no, no, yes, hey, yo, it, it had to be the Chen <laughs> Lee and Chow. Chow. I was, I was oh. in China. No, I was in China, so that was my chief. <laughs> I, 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 I hope those were your teammates' names again. Right. Every day is an adventure on this show. <laughs> so I'm just being honest. Enough enough. That, that was a so I'm like, team, so when y'all when y'all said the team, I'm like, what the fuck team was this? So I had to. Yeah. Now no, you told shit, me the year. That shit was a good team. It was fun. <laughs> um, we all hung out. You know what I'm saying? It was like about everywhere, every city we went to, at least Yo. six or seven dudes. We hanging out. You know what I'm saying? No matter what the venue was, strip club, restaurant, a regular mm -hmm. club, but you gonna see us in a pack. Um, because we all we all knew, mm -hmm. like we were veterans in the game, and we all played in different cities. So it was like, all right, let's say when we went to Denver, like he might have knew, like yo, no, we gonna go here. I know, yeah. boom bang. So like, all right, so what we gonna do? We all mob into that spot. He said, you know, if we in Detroit, I'm like, yo, no, we gonna go here, mm -hmm. boom bang bang. So we gonna mob, you know, and that's that's what brought us that camaraderie, you know. And I always say. I got the trifecta. I got a chip, 
I got a six man and I got a scoring championship. Mm. And you know, I, every time I say that, people always like, man, you, you ain't had no scoring championship. And they always, you know, looking on their phone and whatever. I was like, I did, 2012, 2013. They was like, no, that's when you threw the Knicks. I know, Carmelo Anthony, that's my scoring champion. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? J.R. Smith, that's my six man of the year award right mm -hmm. there when we was in New York because we all had something to do with that. Now, not saying that those guys, you know, were immature or anything like that, but no, nah, it was, you ask Melo yourself next time you see him, you know how much pressure we all took off of him? Because we just letting him play. Yo, go out there and play. We got all the other shit. We're, we're the veterans. We've we been in this league forever. Yo, we diverting all the shit away from you. Hey, dog, go out there and play. Enjoy your life and enjoy yourself. And look what happened. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Shit, got the, got the scoring championship. Wait, scoring champ and six men on the same year? No, no. Uh, JR got the six, six man, man. Mm -hmm. and Melo got the scoring champ. That was in the yeah. same year with that same mm -hmm. Knicks yeah. team we was on. Man, that's Crazy shit of that. Nothing to do with basketball that year, nigga. Tank, fucking when the side Thompson had that fucking staff infection in their nose, bro. Uh. Listen, dog. That's. I know how much pain this man. I had staff infection for this, dog. I know how much. And mm -hmm. had Mercer, dog. That shit that manifested. Nigga walking around his shit like I was like, I'm like, what they gotta do, man? Yeah, they gotta cut it out. I said, oh no. Uh. <laughs> like how you that get was, that there? Yeah. There, of all places. Of all places. <laughs> well, you know. Uh, yeah, that no, was a great play. team. And shout out to Marcus Cameron. Tree used to... <laughs> He's the pause guy. Uh, He's the whoa <laughs> guy. You can no every film session. You can't have no conversation. Tree, oh, you can't have no conversation with Tree around. At, at all. all. If, 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 if Tree in the building, you got to watch with you. Yeah, uh, <laughs> like, oh, he was sticking him hard yeah, on like, defense. Whoa. whoa. Like, <laughs> Tree, yeah, 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 MC the first one with you. First one <laughs> before anybody. Uh -huh. See the first one we whoa, oh, Paul, yeah, hold on. I'm like, yo, dude, you gotta chill, man. Sure, man. Yeah, he's the through, first Paul. And we can do this film, man. Coach is scared to talk. <laughs> Coach is scared to hold a film session now because he's gonna get he gonna get whoa in this motherfucker. <laughs> Well, Sheed, we appreciate you pulling up. We got one more segment left. We want to remind all the fans out there, Sheed and Tyler premiere in early 2024. Go ahead and subscribe, like the Underdog NBA YouTube channel so you can be the first to see it when it comes out. Appreciate you, Underdog Fantasy. As always, download the app. Use promo code GILD. They will match your first deposit up to $100. Now it's time for the last segment of the show, Mostly Fans. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, so... Backtracks, right? Hey, Underdog gonna have to change this, man. <laughs> what, are, what are these? Uh, it's it's pale, but... <laughs> but they just been sitting here. I didn't know nah, what Nah, nah, because it just reminded me we, I, when I played against them and this fell out somebody's sock. Oh, <laughs> it was baggy? It wasn't filled with these pins. It was filled with some white stuff. <laughs> and I just thought about it. I was like, oh, man, are y'all playing with me? It reminded me. It reminded me. <laughs> when I picked it up, I saw you looking at yeah, me. Yeah, I was like, like, I'm looking like. He looked at me. Know. I picked it up to see what it is. He looking at me a minute ago. and Oh, I'm so like, that's what you was thinking. Are y'all tripping? Believe, that looked familiar. I believe, familiar. The, I believe, I believe Okay, little, little pins I, need, on. I need my lawyer in here to advise me <laughs> to answer that, please. Some nice little so, pins, though, okay. Our first question is a video Boy. question. It comes from underdog user King Ife. What a sellout. Yo, do you love me on Gills Arena? I'm blessed. My first question is, if you had a time machine and you can travel to any point in NBA history for any reason, you can choose. It doesn't have to just be a game. You can go back in time and, and talk to a grade or see what someone's like, you know, when they're training, anything like that. Where would you go? And then second question would be, if you could Maybe mess with something and it have a butterfly effect, what would you do? Like, I would go back and tell Scotty. <laughs> I would tell him a couple different things, but I'll first be like, hey, get your contract right. And I'm going to leave the other stuff out of it. <laughs> Appreciate y'all. Then what else would you tell Scotty? Damn. Basically, that don't don't marry this girl, probably. I'm sure that's what he was well, going to say. <laughs> he was definitely a, a old school NBA viewer. Mm -hmm. And the reason I'm saying it, you know, he had the Chinese collar. <laughs> yeah, the old school. Yeah, it's the old school. So if you had an uh, NBA time machine, what would you go back to if you could go back to anything? And then the butterfly effect is the second part. What would you change to, to fuck up the course of the NBA history? Um, here we go. I will go back to 
the year, the day before they caught Joe Smith um, with the contract with Timberwolves. Because uh, if it wasn't for his funky ass cheating, uh, Timberwolves would have had a pick that year, and that would have been a first round pick versus the second round. Yeah, but you're holding, no Gilbert Arena provision, no Th big bag cool. with the Wizards. No Agent Zero. Cool. Cold ass Minnesota. Cool. <laughs> cool. At that time, at that time, I would have been the first round pick. No Gil Escalade coming from Oakland to Sunset. <laughs> don't know, don't know we don't know that. We don't know that. You, you were pushing from Minnesota. We don't know that. We don't know that. I came out. How about yourself? Which part? The month? Yeah. Let's do the first Shit. part. Yeah. Damn. NBA time machine. I know. And motherfuckers trying to. I told them they were trying to get all this money now. Asking all these double ups. Be a part of the Pistons bad boy team. Which year? Original. The year they won it back to back. The original. The back to back Pistons team. <sighs> yeah. When real hoop was being played. There was no real hoop. Well, I just want to be in a, just like their mindset. Their mindset. That was easy. Be around it. We can't guard nobody, so we're just going to foul the shit out of them. Okay, cool. Y'all was a better defensive team. Let it and be known. Okay, all right. Since this, who was the better defense? Defense. Not hacking. Who was a better defensive team? I mean, you guys or that 89 I mean, that, team? I mean, come on. That's unfair. I'm going okay. I'm to naturally say us, of oh, course. Oh, okay. You know, when, you, when you look at shit, but... I mean, that was a hell of a defensive crew, too. Um, Bill Lambeer. Hacker. Not a defensive player. They won back-to-back. -back. But it was hacking. But they had to do something. They, they didn't make no defense. Some team. skill set had to be involved to hey, go back-to-back hey, back For real. Bill, hey, Bill, Lam Bill Lambeer was a good low so post scorer. Go. You had Rick Mahorn. Rick he, Mahorn. Made one team, he made one team defense. Mick, Rick Mahorn was a hell of a motherfucking yeah. defender yeah. and rebounder. Mm -hmm. And as K Mar said earlier, he was a hell of a he was the enforcer for that team. Yeah, they, they had five. You know what I'm saying? So, so what you want me to go back? I mean, yeah, like, that's nineties Mike's first title, which one no, you want me to say something no, like that? I just I mean he was a Pistons guy. Well, well fuck, we can go back in time. Don't go it's back too person, far. No, it's a personal shit. So we won't go back in time, change some shit, right? Oh, for the oh, for the. I, I wish mother. No, no, fuck him. I wish a motherfucker would. No, no, no. I, no, I, <laughs> oh. I, I, I wish the motherfucking Bruce Radner wasn't the owner of the Nets, and I would have stayed my ass in the Jersey. Goddamn it! We want to talk about like that. Go back oh, that, in time. Yeah, that East would have been rocking, man. Yeah, I would have been. Yeah. would have been six, seven, eight, nine time All Star. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. See, if you go back in time, change one thing. To forever alter the course of NBA history. My my first NBA tech. You f that's what got it started. That's what got it started, and that's what I wish I could take back because um, it was crazy. My first NBA tech was in Philly when I was playing with the Wizards. Mm. I mean, well, at the time, the Bullets. For the younger viewers. It's the Wizards, but um, yeah, it was it was a bullshit foul called on me, and like it was in the heat of the moment with the game, you know. And I'm taking it personal because here it is, my college teammate is playing in my city, so you know it it has to be that brotherly love, that brotherly rivalry. So yeah, I'm all in it, and they called a bullshit call on me, and. You know, I, I raised the ball like this, like I wanted to throw the fucking ball at the ref, mm. and the other ref saw it and gave me a tech. But it was like, the crazy thing about it, I wasn't even on that mentality of wanting to throw the ball or hit him with the ball. It was just like, I'm just holding the ball up. It's like, all right, which one of y'all motherfuckers I got to throw it to? Mm. And that was the whole overall persona that the referees had of me back then because I didn't get a lot of texts in high school or college. I got texts for yelling, dunking on motherfuckers, mm -hmm. but outside of that, I never got no real texts for doing anything like that. But if I could change the game, go back and change the game, it would be that moment for me as part of the game. Okay, for sure. How about you? Nothing. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, you already told everybody I'm successful. No, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm, I'm not going. I, I can't go back too far. It was racism back then. Yeah. No, I'm good. Oh, I'm not going. We, I'm not well, going that's back a whole to different Dylan. topic now. Yeah, that's I mean, you ain't wiping, <laughs> would, you ain't wiping would, shit on my house. Hey, hey that's what I, I was going to say. Yeah, I would go back in time and stop from smearing doo doo, but then I would be hanging from a tree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't go. You got to let that doo doo smear on Bill Russell. I got to remember, you can't go back too far because the game is good today. You know what I mean? You go back in the beginning of the 80s, your ass is. Leave that man's wall alone. He's just fucking our chip. You, you commercial flights, goddamn it. <laughs> back, hey, hey, too far back, shit. You had roommates as adults. <laughs> no, thank you, goddamn it. Our next video, <laughs> our next video question comes from underdog user Gil's defense attorney, who's been caking. Ah, shit. Hey, guys, what's fucking popping? I got three questions for you. Oh, Number no. one, has a coach ever put you in the doghouse? If he has, why did he put you in the doghouse? And what did you do to scratch and claw your way back out? Okay, give him the 300 because he's a, a big fan of the show, but that's really 1A, B, and C. <laughs> that's all part of one, one collective question. Mm -hmm. Coach ever put you in the doghouse? Why? How'd you get out? We all get in the doghouse. As a player, if you ain't in a, <coughs> excuse me, if you're not in a doghouse with a coach, then you ain't out there playing. You know what I'm saying? You ain't going for your teammates. It, it's been something. Either you ain't listen. Uh, either you can't run a certain play right, you can't get right. You, we all been in that doghouse before, but the only way to get out that doghouse is to work. You know, let that coach see you. Of course, for us, especially when we were all young players, <coughs> it was practice. You know what I'm saying? Coach got to see you working hard in practice, see you working hard in practice. All right, then you might, you might earn an extra two, three minutes in a game. But that, that was the... The only way I would see being in the doghouse and trying to get out. Uh, I don't know <laughs> if I was ever in one or not. Probably with, with George Carl, but... Oh, yeah, he ain't like your fucking ass. And I didn't give a... <laughs> what, what did I do to get out of it? I kicked the fucking door in and put my feet up on the fucking couch. <laughs> Don't give a fuck about his doghouse. Don't give a fuck about him. What can we, what can we do to, to re rectify the situation? <laughs> Nothing. Be forever? <laughs> Nothing. One-on-one on one game for fuck, charity? Just fuck George Carl on site. Like, <laughs> so if George Carl pulls up to the shootout trying to get some buckets. That's Carolina, man. I love Come you. on, dog. I care about y'all brand, absolutely. But him, no. So if he pulls up to Gills Arena shootout presented by Underdog Fantasy trying to get some bucket. <laughs> I ain't got nothing to say to him. He just no, no, I don't no, I don't I don't, I don't right. acknowledge him. Mm. Saw him at last summer when he, uh, Hugs got inducted to the Hall of Fame. Yeah. He got inducted. He was standing right with the closest we are. Don't fucking acknowledge him. He didn't say what up to you? I don't know if he did or if he didn't. Okay. <laughs> I, don't know I, if he looked, I don't know if he looked my way to speak, to initiate a, a, a situation. I was standing right there, and had he said anything, you know what I would have said to him? <laughs> Fuck, Fuck you. you. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> no, I don't know. Whether I, I'm pretty sure I was in his doghouse, absolutely. Didn't give a fuck about it. He, was, he had to play me. Uh -huh. So... Fuck his house, doghouse, whatever it was, I yeah. didn't care. But that probably was the only coach that ever... Only coach I've ever had a problem with, ever. Yeah, how about okay. yourself? Uh, doghouse. <clears throat> Not because of, like, something I did, right? Because um, I always worked harder than everybody else. So I was in the doghouse because I was outplaying my contract. So my second year of in, Watt, in, in um, Golden State, um, I, was, I was playing very well, and I was mm -hmm. playing better than the mid-level, right? And back then, they, you know, you know, my team couldn't match it. So what happened was they started, um, actually started against you guys. We had you guys in um, Golden State on a TNT game, so the first time on TV. I got seven points. The score is seven, five, me. And then I got subbed out, didn't play no more that half. And then um, coach said, like, yo, finish where you left off. Like, I yeah. thought this was about basketball. I didn't think this was about, like... Yeah, I understand it. Yeah, I ain't understand it. I ain't know, you know what I mean? I just want to play, so I got out because I boycotted. I boycotted, didn't come to practice. Like, I'm good. Like, I'm good. And then uh, Earl Boykins helped me a little bit, too. EB. Because um, him, um, him and coach Eric Musselman was 
tight. <laughs> and uh, he told E, like, yo, let the let him play. We're trying to win because if we don't win, you know, your record is going to, you know, be reflected and you're going to get fired. And, uh, let him play. So mm-hmm. he listened to Earl. Then <laughs> crazy. <laughs> let I'm, that motherfucker remember, 65. I played so, play for his dad in Portland. Oh, he did? His dad was on the staff. Okay. So he went from looking out for you to you posting him up every time he was on the Ah, floor. shit. You fucking <laughs> shell. You <ain't> shit. <laughs> he went, the reason you got to play it early, though, know, every time he was on the floor and we played y'all in Denver, you going to post him up. You ain't what shit. What I supposed to do? Pick me up full court, I can't dribble ball. <laughs> you ain't shit. I'm trying to dribble a little motherfucker down. <laughs> I got you, real. <laughs> I, because I play against you in practice, I know I can't do this all guy here. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck it was strong, uh. Yeah. Earl told little motherfucker, he said, yo, we need you to average five or six. Earl said, shit, if I average five or six, I'm not in the NBA. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> hey, I remember we went to Detroit. This We went to Detroit, and then uh, he subbed in the game. Everybody go crazy. Right when he came back, I was like, how do he know you? He was like, oh, I went to college. He's East of Michigan. Mm-hmm. Was you good? He's like, oh, I was all right. I was all right. All right, all right, cool. And right, somebody's like, yeah, he had like 30 something here. <laughs> <laughs> Him? His little ass? Yeah. <laughs> His little puffer cabbage, 30 something. Shit. Put that thing up. He put that thing up. He's a bucket getter. He be. Play fast, stop on the dime on yep. your ass. Pick up Get you backing up. He had to be. <laughs> oh, and he's the one who taught me about pump fake, right? I remember. Um, so I was watching, I was like, yo, how you get the pump fake off? He said, human behavior. He was the one who taught me about human behavior. He said, because I'm little, nobody wants to just block my shot, right? So no one just challenges my shot. Because I'm little, they want to embarrass my shot. So they want to smack and do all this low nub shit. So when I come to pump fake, everybody's going to always jump out of the position. So I'll just go up and under, do this pump fake. They're going to oh. fly. Cause they, because they want to embarrass the shot. So Makes sense. He said, so they all always with this type of shit. He said, I just buy it. It may, yeah, as a, as a big man, it makes sense. I don't want this little motherfucker scoring over yeah, here embarrassing they wanna, me. He said, they want to throw my shit in the crowd. <laughs> so they're going to come with that full speed try to block. I'm like, all right. Hit a little asshole, too. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Are we doing a little free throw shit? Now you... Coach pick players to go to the free throw line and shoot. You ain't got to run. Uh-huh. You know, this bitch shoot like 93, 94 yeah, yeah. for his miss. career. He missing that bitch on purpose. He going to miss on purpose. Oh, he yeah. Shout, out to, run. shout out to Errol Boy, because you know me. You little motherfucker. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> miss it again. Do it again. I don't give a fuck that you 5'5". Five five <laughs> not at all. <laughs> hey, you, you, you're a strong motherfucker. We gonna, you gonna have to, you gonna have to use that goddamn strength in this bitch. You miss another one. And now we start, now we start doing it. We, as soon as he, Coach Pink Earl. Yeah. You especially if it's a bad line. Oh, especially if it's a bad Oh, you been talking, somebody been bothering, been, talking yeah, shit to him? Yeah. His minutes been affected. Anything yeah. that's going to go, he going to. Pay back. Yeah. Absolutely. He going to show his ass. As soon as I see them, I'm on the line. Yeah. Ready? Go. <laughs> going to miss on purpose. Yeah. He busy. That's a great place for us to stop today. Another productive episode of Gills Arena presented by Underdog Fantasy. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. Hey, we appreciate you pulling up. You'll be here tomorrow with us. All day. Oh. As will all of y'all. What? Too much smoke, Gil? What happened? I thought that was the end. My it bad. is? Uh, it is. No. Oh. We'll see everybody tomorrow. <laughs> Gil's the reader. Appreciate y'all.